A very good evening to you. Welcome to Obina Show Live. Yes, we're coming to you straight from Miale, and you can't believe the person that I'm hosting. So, I've known this person for a while, but online. Atujawai Kutana. Mekutana Leo for the first time. Really? Yeah, to, to my meet. Oh. I thought it because we talk like we know each other in person. Yeah. Okay. No, we've spoken for so long, but we've never met one on one. And that's the thing with digital. Digital, you always think, umejua mutu sana, umezoyana. Then I'm like, wait a minute. We I'm actually never met in person. Okay. Yeah. Then you may realize, kume, as you want filter. I am this beautiful person. Leo, tu kona night nurse. Tu kona nurse Judy, the one and only. Hey, pale social media. <laughs> Umefanya mambo. Natachisha. <laughs> like, I, I knew you before the scandals, and then I saw a couple of scandals, so with a couple of dildos, I'm like, Aya. yeah, ni mekwana na utu dildo tunafanya anga hivi. Ni kasa kukwani, uyo ni judi kashambi. Like, you cannot compare me to that. Yeah, yeah because when I was growing up, things were basic. Like, the dildo I knew, nile to kwana fundisha na shule kuva condoms. Mm. Like they used to bring it in school, they put it, it was wood. Eh. They put it on the table, they're like, this is the way you put whatever in Auntie Aid's club. Eh. That's what I knew was dildo. Mm. Then I come online, I meet you, suga shambi kuna ili na Kuna nafanya hivi shingo, kuna ingine nafanya hivi. I'm like, how do you want us to compete, man? We can. I love kuna kingine kana kasiju to flower. Kuna fanya hivi. Ako sasa kwanza. Eh? Ako, kuna leto seizures. Ana kupeleka kwa baba mbio sana. Toka huko. Atujaanza tu interview. Uwasha nikukaribishe. Karibu Bina Show Live. Karibu Kenya. Mhm. Mm una una shine. Ndio mune notice nimefika Kenya. Oh. Yeah. There's okay. no other way you have to like be outstanding for them to know you have arrived. You are right here. Neda Kenya. Neda Kenya. Nede ha ha. Ini. You around for how long? Until January 15th. Ah, yo bado uko. Yo utazunguka zunguka. Yo like you have like 20 something days. Yo utazunguka zunguka. Ni sherehe moja safi ya Kenya huko ni nimekuwa depressed sana. Need kitu kwa. Mimi nikikupeleka sherehe hivi leo. Eh. Kesho. Eh. Asubuhi. Eh. 6 a.m. Ngoja uone headlines. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why was that? Mimi na wewe tu tuonekane in the same space. Eh. That's your heart. It's over. Ah, for you, not for me. Ah, mimi nimezoea. Mimi nimezoea. Mimi nimezoea. Mimi hapa sasa hivi. You're single. So no big deal. Yeah, me. Kwa nini unaiaka hivi? Eh? Eh. Eh kwa sababu it's it is <laughs> no, but, but not, not even about the single part. Mm. Like myself, I'm used to situations mm. and situationships. Mm -hmm. Most ladies are not used to. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they are saying this. I'm like, yeah, it's... Yeah, I know. I mean, I have a tough skin size. Yeah, I have two relationships. I have an idea. Nicola, who you? Oh, Nicola. Oh, you have a date now? Oh, okay. <laughs> then I guess I guess we are dating. I guess uh, it's fine. We move, mm. you know. And then ule mwenye uko nae ata waji uko like guys, you should you didn't read there. No, I took one like chemistry. Hapo like yeah. So we move. So me ne to kenda ni ni ita kuwa tricky. Me ne za ne za kubali. To break the internet. F yeah, ita kuwa ribi andoa. Yeah, yeah. Wait, take it quite a Oh, uli aicho, uli aicho before. Ni meacho na soko ni chafu kuinje. Ni one kana na wewe alafu na mtu kona na utanio. Utanio. Ni kiachwa. Eh? Blended family things. Wache ni kuni jaribu. Wait, muni wache. Ha watu wa America wana nipenda sana. America, I see myself coming. Visa is calling me. First of all, you have citizenship. Hmm, I have a lot of people who come to America. You have citizenship? You have citizenship? You have citizenship? But you have citizenship yet. I have a permanent resident. Oh, so you have to know about this idea? Yes, okay, in a way, in a way, you can file for someone who has a permanent resident, but it will take long. The advantage of a citizen is it's faster. That's the only difference. I have a citizen. Yeah, of course. I have a permanent resident. Ukifukuzwa pia mimi nafukuzwa. Mhm. Mm mimi nataka mtu mwenye huko ni kwao. Hawezi fukuzwa kwao. <laughs> so shani kata sawa. 
make sure basi ndoa yangu ijaisha. Mimi ndoa yako iko sawa nimeprotect. Mm. So unaona hata mzee unaona nimemwambia tu si yeah. naongea na kamera yangu no si huyu. Hii kamera yangu. Oh hii yako yangu ni. Hii yako ni. Oh, okay. Eh yeah. so mimi naongea na mzee wako pale. Mzee unaona ameniambia road trip nikamwambia <laughs> eh yeah, brother skipper. <laughs> yeah. So karibu Kenya karibu Obina Shola. I was supposed to do this interview I think on Monday. Mm -hmm. But uh, this guy was in Uganda. Which one failed pesa. us? Ule amevaa suit yule. Oh. Anaitwa Hunter. Alikuwa Uganda alikuwa anatafuta pesa huko akarudi but now we are here. Okay. But I've seen eh hey, umefanywa interview kila mali sasa hata sisi tupiga story gani? Akiwa eh hey, bloggers been keeping me busy. Eh hey, ni mbona bloggers wamekuokota? <laughs> oh you have not moved on. Oh hey, oh. <laughs> Radio nini? Wewe umefanya kila kitu mpaka kuna radio inaitwa Base. Umeenda mpaka Base Radio. I'm like sorry my kid. Can you relax? Yeah, I'm like you guys come on. They've squeezed the, the fruit back at the juice. Okay, do we still have a little bit of juice in there? Oh, trust me, yes. Okay. If that is there then we can I'm a, figure I'm out. I'm a chick of stories. Ask my uh, people on Instagram. I always have stories to give. I I see some of your lives. Mm. Now watch, now watch the sudo. Do you keep up with you? Ah, Obina is here. Obina. <laughs> yeah. But I've seen uh, uh, you've been doing a, a, a good thing. The one for talking to nurses mm -hmm. and people who are looking for employment in the States. Yeah. That one I commend. Yeah, my deal though, not so much. Because I'm in competition. I don't fear machines. Mm. Yeah, because if it comes to non machines. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> But if it's a machine, come on, really? No, I can't function like do I look, do I look like Tesla to you? Yeah, yeah. So if it's not machines, ni sawa. But machines, do you have fun? Yeah, there's of course it's, I like that. Yeah, yeah. If it's a machine way it's nice. Eh bora tu si mtu wangu, ju mtu wako sasa akiingilia machine. Unaona kama utasaulika. AI, eh maze. Mzee anashanga mbona hataki mshike kumbe kuna chat GP. But you see now that's the problem. You people are thinking like these things are coming to make us to be addicted to those machines and forget about you guys. But, But it does. No, it doesn't. Mimi mtu alikwambia kama sasa ni long distance. Yes, nafanya sana sana hizo deal kwa sababu ya marketing. But wakati mwingine naiba hiyo. But you know you're not supposed to get high on the shit you're selling. Hey, why? Una vitu, una test, una, una yeah, so that when you're recommending you know how it functions. You cannot be selling to people things that you don't even know how they work. Like I am a brand ambassador who tap tap send. I make sure I send money na hiyo brand. Yeah. The same thing with dildo. I want to make sure by the time I recommend I wambia, oh the vibrations are so good they're going to take you to heaven. Wacha nisikie kana nimeenda heaven. By the time I'm saying that, see it in a hype. I'm influencing the correct things. Chat jipusi. <laughs> But still, oh, <laughs> still need me a man so much. Uh, so it why do you need a man if you already using the dildo to make you take you, you to places? Because that is just a machine. Kuna ile unajua like when it comes to in etego jina shengsegete whatever. When it comes to that, it's not just like a placing a ki machine on your linear new orgasm and that's it. There is a lot to eat like unataka your affection. Some people like a turn on ni like kuongelesha kwa masikio. Ai vitu kama hizo. <laughs> Let's get to pole pole. Baby please. Uh, pole pole. You know so such things a deal you cannot give you. Akuna deal do inonge. Eh me cuz I'm of my crazy turn on the machine cannot give me. What are your turn ons? Eh hey, hizo sitasema hapa nitajipata na trend. They are very crazy. Sema tu kidogo. Ay ay ay. Tuambie tatu. <laughs> Tumeshajua yeye akuongea kwa masikio. Na yeye msema hiyo ni yangu. Oh. Eh eh. But yeah, basically what I'm saying There are things a machine cannot give. You. Machine Twitter kupati hizo tu vibration, maybe you got gas yes, but the wholesomeness that a man can give you, I may still need it much. So kuna mtu na machine. Machine is because I'm Aren't you greedy? No, especially because I'm long distance. So sasa machine inakusaidia kwa sababu you not go looking for money, itakusaidia wewe unajimalizia. You know, Alafu na video it, call. In a relay and sometimes actually it helps. Ukim video call and you're using it, I inasaidia ku spice up. Hata yeye akikona ukitumia inakuwa ina mchanga mbaya. Pia yako na yake. Hana yake. Hana mnyonyi. You keep you going. Eh. Ulienda paje kwanza kutumia hizi vitu na kuziuza? Nilianza na sasa kwa sababu niliapproachwa niuze. Alafu sasa in the process nikasema acha nitumie kwanza what I'm telling you to test and see if what they are telling. You are addicted. You are addicted. See I see your posts. 
Mi na des na. Eh, nasa me pose. Eh, okay, no, let's move on. Nikichoka sana nasikia nataka ni kwa jam started kidogo nisikie. You know there's something about orgasms that they uh, there's a relationship between orgasm and your brain and hormones and everything is okay. Mm, I mean I don't know what you're talking about. Scientifically proven. So hey. when I use it and then I get my orgasm I feel good energetic and positive about life and you know naweza kuwa niko na mood mbaya sana afu nashangaa ni nini. Mimi when I get my orgasm and then I restart my energy. Je unatafanya nini si mtu wangu ako mbali? Mine in my case kwanza it's allowed. But even for people who don't nini have their spouses there it's really good ya ku spice up so zingine watu wamekanisha for love mnapata mnataka ku spice up that's the thing to use sasa sasa hizi uko na ngapi mimi na zako personal mimi niko na type 2 peke yake ama unatumia unauza unatumia ukiuza unauza pre on pre hot lakini yako kanaitoka rose low mileage sijika mu umesikia sifa yake nimeiona uki post It's he hako mm. hako anaume wakaogope it can be addictive to women inaweza lipa bila lunch cuz it give like seizure like orgasm eh lang lang kondo macho kabisa you call your toes but that one happens generally i don't know for other men but <laughs> if you don't call her toes bro <laughs> okay not like that like hey, inside... muguzi mm-hmm. 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 got too heavy lazima one no unajua kidogo Hakuna kama ana afanye shida nyonga eh. <laughs> they do. Yes even even like even with a man that happens uh, especially like when they go down on you. Okay for some people maybe penetration but for some women I know I have talked with me women yeah. most that happen when they I don't know people are different. Yeah, okay. And some are complaining in my DM they have even never had that orgasm in one. Mbe sana sijudi when in Asia Santa Fe then it down to kunyo man. <laughs> Alafu una recommend yako ka kitu, si ndio? Nawaambia wajaribu kujam start na yako. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kama sasa pia hiyo itafanya kazi na wewe. Ni nasi mama. Ni is not even the man the problem. Now they are the problem because even sometimes actually it's an actual problem, health problem. Because you know it's out here. Inaweza kuwa ni something to start with yeah. the brain, but yeah. also there are some people who suffer with some things around the reproductive area that makes them not be able to orgasm. Okay. So it can be that too. So kuna mtu anaweza kuwa anasema wanaume mimi hawajaini yeah. niko mbe shida ni wewe. Yeah so that don't Mekufa jump into uko. saying that oh ni mwanaume ni mwana no. So wewe umesema uko nako ka flower na gani nyingine? Ile kana anafanya hiyo kitu hivyo. And your husband is okay with this? Cuz I'm long distance. I know but Nikama he's fine. Kama nikikuja hapa ulibeba? Sijabeba kwa sababu now he'll be doing the work. Oh sasa hiyo ndio. But nikikuo huko sasa ako mbali. Ninakaa sometimes even six months. Obina what am I supposed to do? My nails are always having easy V2. It's unhygienic. So that one works better. And it's even because I'm better. Ah yeah. These things you post like the one for the dildos. Mm-hmm. It's good for the money. Yes, you're having fun. Yes, but what do you think about your child? Your daughter, I've seen your daughter is grown like she's now mm-hmm. she's turning into a teenager. Mm-hmm. She's getting there. Mm-hmm. What do you think if she gets to see these things? You don't fear like like what will happen like w- what's wrong with the sex toys the, the, like most of the time it's just sex toy and sex education like most people look at it like wrong morals there's nothing wrong with sex toys it's it's we are in the liberated era for women ah mhm wao wanasema huyu anapoteza wazichana huyu hapana hizi vitu wanatumia hizi mabizi hizi mabizi unafikiria ni simu ina vibrate kumbe ni mtu amekaa kwa ofisi na amejiingiza mavitu there's nothing wrong with that Akifi- so for you you are okay with Akifiki over those are the discussions going to be having all sex education and all the, anything related to that yeah but the time manafika over ni vitu ataona si yeye mwenyewe anaziona akifika atawanza kuwa anaziona kwa hizo shows probably atakuwa na watch na akikuja na kuambia yeye ni lesbian akikuja ni amen lesbian mm. hey i don't know how to react to that but one thing i know is that like i will always be very supportive of my daughter but, uh, okay unless sir sana akikwambia ni gay. Hey. Eh? Sana kuja kwambia you know mom, you know. I don't know, know why it feels like for a woman would be more accepting but for a man, eh hey, yeah yeah, I'll be shocked. Kambia I like I like other boys. Na unanga mamorio hivi na una muscles niko like damn bro. 
Sivyo nanya uonge wale za wale wale ma Wachana wale ma boys wa oh my god on bako like why you two women than the women themselves Sasa wale ma boys wa you know man nimekona chikule buda man like you Na unajua sana wapeleka America where it happens a lot Ah Wanaenda America Wanakuja America they would be joining me ah Sasa do okay for for the sun hiyo nayo aki eh yeah yeah I would be broken. But you do realize there's nothing you can do. I know. Kiboko I, will not change. And at the end of the day, he's in this one, he's my child. And I will still have to love him. And I'll still probably have to support him. But deep down, it's going to scare me by But it's not going to consume his own dildo. My butt plug. Wow. Being an ass, mm-hmm. you are well informed about a lot of things that happen in human anatomy, basically. Mm-hmm. Yes. A lot of people know you, even you call yourself Nurse Judy. People know you as a nurse, but people don't know how you ended up being a nurse first. Mm-hmm. I've seen you talk a lot about, well, I was giving you a flowers, the one for you, always telling people how to get, how to do a couple of jobs, get more money, do this, yeah. pick this one, is paying well, do this one, do that. Mm-hmm. Because I had a friend who was in the States. Mm-hmm. No, she's still there. Mm-hmm. She was a nurse at some point. Then I thought everything was okay. Mm-hmm. Then the time she came to Kenya, a few months, like two, three months ago, she was in Kenya for, I think, two weeks. Mm-hmm. And she was telling me things are not working out. And I was like, but Nurse Judy is always saying the way you can... Make money. Yes. Mm-hmm. But now later when she explained to me, so for her, it was like she already has two children, mm-hmm. but they're in the same state she is in. Mm-hmm. The jobs that pay well are in a different state. Yeah. Now she needs to move to that state, which means move the children to another school mm-hmm. or start commuting. Now she has a husband. Yeah. It's a lot. So she's suffering with this situation because has he a kuapa watoto wa kuapa na some hapa then ataki kuwa. True. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you talk about all these things and it's good because it makes people well informed. People are like, hey, nothing mm-hmm. pays well in the state. So I have to break that down. But before you get down and start, how did you end up in nothing? Ulikuwa na sapa? Amu li somea tu ukaenda. Nilikuwa na sapa. And thank you so much, by the way, by starting with that. Because most of the time, yeah. I talk about so much about nursing and good things. But hakuna mtu waki huwa na pump up hizo. Ili time tu ni mechoma tu moja. Yu ndo ita zunguka. But anyway, it's okay. Yeah. Guys, learn to pump up my nursing <laughs> stuff too. But yeah, I was a nurse here. Nili somi hapa. The Nairobi Hospital. Posh school. Oh, sour boss. You come from a rich family? No, a very poor. Ndiyo mani hizo vitu rich rich was nani excited. Because I grew up. Because <laughs> I grew up in okay. so much okay. poverty. So when you tuni kajua tuni kaanza kuguzia ka soft life ubina. Hey, I don't let people breathe. Maskini angekuwa tajiri ni kitu mbaya. Anyway, so I, I I went to the Nairobi Hospital. They have a school of nursing. Okay. It's like three years diploma. Nikifanya job hapo for like four years. Nikapata experience yangu. And then I started my process to go abroad. Cuz kwanza nilikaa hivi nikafuata journey ya nurse mwenye alitoka hapa. She had worked here in Kenya for like 10 years. Okay. Na hakuwa na grow. Because here in Kenya, the nursing is not well paid. Yeah, they are not even appreciated. We are not appreciated. We are overworked. Exactly. Hatunanga, like, unajua, like, abroad, unapatanga tuko na watu na ito CNAs. Those are, like, assistants, assistant to nurses. So, unapata, like, tukio huku, wewe as a nurse. When you're assistant. When you're unafanya kila kitu. Ubina, like, you'll find as a nurse in Kenya, ukingia shift ya subui. When you're utapatia na madawa, utapata uko na wound dressing, unapata daktari ya mekuja meka order ya kweka my G-tube, Unaonta yeka, yata yeka tu order, wendo unaeka. After hapo unapata ni una peleka patient x-ray, urudi patient. Kwa ngina ato na dungana mashindano? Ya, yeah, sinisi, bado utafanya med, med round sasa, ya niko na mashindano, ma, madawa, and then bado ni wewe, patient akipupu, because we don't have those caregiver assistants in the hospital in Kenya, yeah, yeah. wendo bado utenda kuchange. We do the dirty work, the, everything. But in uko US, unapata sa like for me, most of my work ni hizi zenye zinaka like za madawa easy like high tech is this ingine like to feed patient ama ku change them with their soil now there's someone else would but huko Kenya unapata sawa you do all that you're still underpaid unabaki huko hospitali ukijaribu kumalizia documentation unatoka hospitali 10 pm ulingia asubuhi na hutalipo hiyo overtime in america ukichelewa because maybe you had so much over nini overload of work utalipo hiyo overtime if it's 4 hours you're going to be paid kama hourly pay yako ni 80 unapata sawa una overtime na lipo na double. Here you're not paid. Ukibaki 10 p.m. Hawataki wate anything undone and you're not gonna be paid for the overtime. So, nothing in Kenya is a scam. But maybe so you did it here for a while? For four years. Where? 
Lesukuma Nairobi Hospital. Eh yeah, nilivumilia kwa sababu I'm very passionate. Mko nalipoaje? Nilianzishwa na 35k nikianzia okay. but by the time I was living nilikuwa nalipo around 55 I think after tax. So sijui so nilikuwa hmm. ngapi from 35k to 55k in 4 years. Yeah, it ended to grow na 5k alafu at some point sijui tukaongezea na 10k hivyo. Then you went to the states. Uh, the first uh, hospital mm. that you got a job in the states. Ulikuwa nalipoaje monthly? Monthly nilikuwa nalipo 75 per hour. So hiyo ilikuwa inakuja 75 what? 75 dollars per hour. So that's to ongea Kenya shillings. <laughs> Ngoja so, kidogo. Sikizi nimesha zoe dollars na shindo kuongea. Nimejua sasa sisi wa Kenya mm. waacha niwarudishe huku kwa calculator. 75 dollars per hour mm. times tucheze tu na 150. Mm. 11,000. Yeah. Now just as ngine unapata kama uh, and you know the thing about kwanza America. Mimi sasa I'm required to like nikipata job, I'm required to work only three days in a week in a hospital. So unapata na baki na four days. Nikibaki na four days wanakuanga wameka hizi ma apps zenye unaweza enda u login utafute kama kuna hospitali iko na needs ya nurses. Unapata wame post shift yenye wameka kitu kama 110 per hour because they are desperate. So, 110 una, dollars. Yes wameandika po urgent shift umeandika 110 obina kuna time naweza toka job i have ever done this nimetoka job day shift nikakuja nikapata wame post shift ya night shift nimetoka shift mchana nikapata wame post shift 120 because it was an urgent shift when urgent shift ni sasa wanatafuta nasi yeah. hawa party so wakika urgent shift they put crazy money even 150 time ya covid nurses used to be paid 10000 dollars per week time ya covid Time ya covid those nurses ate life with the biggest spoon. Hey, nazi see stories za jamba. 1.5. I wish I was there during covid. Nilikuwa nataseka hapa. He comedy kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> He comedy. <laughs> Naona <Are> kidogo. We... <laughs> America. <laughs> Ngoja, let's go back to the 75. Yeah. So ulikuwa nalipwa 75 dollars. Yes. Ini per hour. Per hour. And I'm na unafanya hour shift. We we it it na kuanga either ufanye 12, ama ufanye 8 for 5 days, ama ufanye 12 for 3 days. So tw- that's 135,000. Mhm. 3 days. Yeah. Una pocket is in. Alafu easy siku zingine unaenda wapi? Sasa unatafuta shift extra. If you want to work, that's why I'm telling you America ni kujituma, especially kwanza kama mimi sasa sina watoto huko. So for some people it might be hard kama kuna watoto, they get okay. expensive and what. So when you're day off, una choose to kukaa home instead ya kulipa daycare. But for someone like me Obina, sina mtoto. Na kama kanyo bado nifanye nini? Ndio nakwambia there's a time nilitoka mchana shift. Nikakuja nikapata kwanza for the first time nikapata urgent shift imepostiwa na 143.87 I remember so clearly hata nilipostinga yeah, I think your screenshot cause kwa naamini nilioga nikaingia hiyo shift ya night na nimetoka day I did 24 greediness sikuwa naamini 143 in 12 hours nitamake pesa ngapi nikae nyumbani nikifanya nini na sina mwanaume hapo <laughs> aya 143 no 21000 per hour It depends with the state because the now states. I'm in California. Okay. They pay very good. Unapata state zingine zina range 55 for oh. Evo. But Na in California, ku- ka- Texas. Uko <laughs> <laughs> Alaska. So, in 21,000. Mm. No kai piga 12 hours. Kai piga 12 hours. Na mimi ni kwasikia kukufa. You're 257. Unajua mimi ni pro box. In one night. Let me tell you the things that America has help me to achieve i would never have achieved even in 20 years here as a nurse hapa nilikuwa patoka salary na kakata the same day sijui nilikuwa jukumu zangu zilikuwa ni kulipa house girl na sijui ka shopping and it's over now sasa kama siko na bwana hata sijui how single mom survive cuz 35000 you live in Nairobi tell me na you need before tax kwanza the first salary kwa 35 before tax as a yeah. nurse and then the thing about a nurse in, in Kenya ukisema wewe ni nurse hata kuna mtu akona shughuli. When you in America and you just say I'm a ren, wanaitango a ren huko. Haitango manazi kama huko. Kwa natao wana tutarau manazi sa what is manazi. Sema wao watu wa KMTC hapo mnajua. In in wa KMTC. You see especially I was telling women, <laughs> I was telling Kenya nurses who are moving from here to America, wakienda huko if you're single and you're dating, refrain from saying you are a ren. Cuz hautapendo juu ati ya mapenzi. They target a rent. They call us big checks. 
Ah, ato kinge TikTok sana sana uandike tu vitu za nasi. You will see people just complain a lot they can't find genuine love. Cuz you got big checks buko na kitu pesa. They call us big check. Ukienda to date you say you are real. Ah, big check cuz I'm a black Americans. Hey, what they target are real. What's up baby? Kiko some big check <laughs> rap. Sasa na kuonesha mapenzi una cheesy lakini ni kwa sababu anajua ile kitu unaleta. So, let's talk about the lowest paid nurse in the states. For example, mm. when they how much power? It's maybe fifty. New grad, depending on the state, mm. when they are for forty dollars. New grad. Forty per yeah. hour. Mm. Cindy. And that's new grad. You only six. Because na like when you are talking to to graduate on experience. Yeah, you only six thousand. Mm. Uh, per hour. Mm. So in a far from twelve hours, Cindy. Mm. You only seventy-two thousand mm. per day. Yeah. Aya. To say me sasa uyu sani wakujituma. To say me tuana fanya. Four days. I'm at five. Mm-hmm. Most people five. do five. Five days. Mm. So to say me times five. Mimi natuanga sita. Umasema ni juma pili tu peke yake alafu. Na hata hizi siku za situ napiga baka ile. Iyo ya. Aya. That's 360,000. Ini take home. Yeah. Iko na tax hapa. Yeah. Sasa bado. Like. Sasa bado wapo ujue hujatolewa taxes. Sasa ukitolewa taxes hapo ndo inanzaa kukwashi. Alafu hii bado ujapiga overtime. Hii nile too basic. Hii yeah. tumeongea jua basic. Yeah, ujapiga overtime hapo. So kwa hii 360 for example. Mm. Taxes inafika wapi? Hii hey, taxes anko sam nazo ni bruto. O wako nazo? Hii hey, ni bruto. Ni kama za huku pia. Zasa, zasa kayo sibia. <laughs> <laughs> so pia huko muna pelekwa na bill TV. Hey. So kama nyumba. Kama ini 360 ta. Umse anaishi kwa nyumba ya pesa ngapi? Sasa like um in a dependent state pia in america it's all about like state different state different processes different rates different nini uh, expenses yeah. like unapata living cost ya california itakuwa the same na ya like mtu wako arizona ama montana okay so kuna zenye ni cheaper to stay in but still i would advise mtu wa kai place kama california hata kama it's expensive you'll make good money and then una make sure ume ume eka like your expenses on the lower side like usinde kutafuta nyumba expensive cuz you're just making money there as you try to like invest in another state kama ni kubai property you're trying to buy like most people make money in california and buy houses in texas so unapata mtu ako california either unaweza enda uchukue like a room to rent instead ya kuchukua like an apartment unachukua like room to rent una chapa ma shift zako you make your money and then you buy like your house unaweza pata mpaka unaweza buy cash instead ya kuchukua mortgage we do if you are working all those hours you just need space yeah. to sleep ka sleep na ka tv hapo <coughs> lala ingia job lala ingia job lala ingia job it only becomes hard lakini like, for people with kids so if you have kids now it's complicated the yeah, school but kama una mimi watoto kia nani you can become a billionaire easily you can make is a land of opportunities it's a land of opportunities How did you manage to go there? Uli apply wapi? Nilikuwa nimeanza nga process yangu na agencies because kuna agencies mob sana zinapeleka nurses huko. Yeah. So mimi nilikuwa nimeanza nga na agency initially. And then at some point I dropped them but <coughs> nilikuwa nimefanya like the whole process up to the end because process yetu inakuanga ni like eh, kuna process exam unafaa kufanya so that you can be licensed huko abroad. Hiyo exam ni to NCLEX. Oh by the way let me tell you people there's a NCLEX center huko a new one we used to go to south africa am a kwa filipino kunaitwaje hiyo country inaitwaje kwa filipino si filipino hapana kwa si india oku si kwa filipino it's fine kwa wa india au kwa india kwa filipino okay yeah but now nimeona wame open a new center huko it's in nairobi mhm I don't know where but I know it's in Nairobi. Okay. Really on that like two days ago. Okay. Mm. Okay, so you do the exams when you pass what happens? You're given a visa or something? When you pass sasa, unapata like kama uko na agency, wanakutafutia hospitali abroad yenye nakufailia petition for you to be given a green card. So okay. unatoka huku ki already na green card. But for me, vile nilifanya NCLEX, I dropped them because you time don't my husband akakuwa transferred kwenda Tanzania. Okay. Na mimi sasa hiyo time akaniambia amepata package mzuri sana anaona tuachane na hii process ya kwenda wapi US cuz nilikuwa nimeanza sasa to file sisi wote. They file for you for your kids and your spouse. Mnapata green card zenu mnaenda after umemaliza NCLEX. Utatafutwa hospitali, they file for you once the process is complete. It takes like one year. Ama kama sasa after COVID, it's been so one challenging. Year 
Yeah. It's a long time to wait. I know, embassy. Well, that's a long time to wait, uh -huh. I know. So, Buana can at easy. I can at Chana now come for that. Yeah, can you be because I'm a part of package poor Sana TZ and I want to a channel in a history of Quenda, US, because anyway, yeah, I'm gonna feel uncomfortable now. You idea Quenda, US, because yeah, I'm a shark grow Sana Kokaria Yake, okay. and he already knows in the US. Any popular son are making money in a nursing. Now, of course, he attacked Kushiv because he loves what he does. So, can I be because I'm a part of promotion? I'm a part of package poor Sana. We dropped the US thing and then we go to TZ. We kick at TZ. I can look for a job like in a good hospital, come Aga Khan, and peer on the side. I can start like my home nursing care business or something. But since I'm in Kafika TZ, Nika Kosa Paman, whatever, in it on work permit. Yeah. So it was quite challenging, and it was also around the same time we were going through our problems out of this scandal that happened. So it was so tough. So since I work permit, in the years, we are going through problems, and eventually we ended up separating. So we were imagining we were to pay. Because by the time I was leaving Nairobi, by the way, we were going to pay the 55 after tax. We were going to pay the unit in the apple. Nika juana na high end clients from the hospital, and they used to give me like uh, home nursing jobs. So when I pata sa zingine sa zingine siko shift hospitali, I'm going to do the home nursing care, and they used to pay me good money. So nika di pata na fanya overtime the same hospital, na na inda home nursing care. So na pata tu pesa tu angu somewhere one fifty k, na one fifty k ni pesa po kio Kenya. So by the time I was living in Nairobi, kuna tz, ni liko ni medi position ina we ni kanda kuskenika i na sing inanza kujipa for me. Baka ni by Kamazda Demio. Na yu tupesa. I was driving a Kamazda Demio. You, you are bowling, you are both lady. I started bowling. Niko ni mezaka soft life. <laughs> and then I went to TZ. <laughs> hey, to savings. Tote tunye niko ni meka. Niko ni meza kujisevye veni. Nenza kupata kutu gigs to work with high-end people. So, ni mefika TZ. To savings, umeza kuisha marriage in Asia. Hey, ni kauna hapa sasa. Wata ni jikusanya ni one vile nitaenda Amerika. Na nilisha cha process katikati. But because I had a visit visa, yeah, five years, and it was gonna expire the same year. Oh. Nika enda na yo sasa. Oh, you had already gotten your visa. Yeah, visit visa. See green card. Oh, okay. Visit visa, and you know with visit visa, we zenda ukafanya job. So when I landed visit visa, it was so challenging. Cause sasa ni mefika, una work permit, una yani una makaratasi, ni tangu una tu makaratasi. Ukena na izi ma visa types zingine zenye si green card. Oh, na kwanga wana samanga makara. Oh, na makara. <laughs> okay. And it's very tough kama una makara America. Life is People difficult. will tell you, oh, it's difficult. And that's why you see sometimes Kenya. Niko ashanga kwa nini watu wako America they like discouraging some other Kenyans who are here to go there. But after kukaka ni melan it's because some people niko sababu maybe umefika hapo life inakosa kujipa especially kama uko in the nursing industry. No liability. Yeah, and then pia another thing ni kama hauna makaratasi. Life can be tough. Because one yeah. thing, ukiena na visit visa, upitishe six months. Na ujue, you cannot move out of the country unless you don't plan to come back to the country. Usha haribu status. Uh -oh. So you are not supposed to stay there more than six months? You are not supposed to stay there more than six months. Not stay how long? Six months is the maximum. Kama mimi in 2021 ilienda, ni kaka five months ni karudi. And then when I was Rudy, I was like, I'm going to study, study. I'm going to Rudy, I'm going to go to the hospital, I'm going to go to the hospital. So we agreed, I go back with my visit visa, and then I'm going to do adjustment of status, and then they will file for me to do it concurrently. I'm going to file my petition, and then I have adjusted my status, so I'm going to get a green card through my visit visa. Because I'm going to go to Kenya with a green card. Na nikiwa na visit visa, hata sezi fanya job, hata sezi fanya, hata uwezi pata nyumba, hata uwezi, now you have to depend on people. And that's where life becomes difficult. Because nika unadependia watu, now Kenyan community can be very brutal, we're not supportive of each other. So kifika uko rapata like, saa uwezi pata nyumba juna makara, any everything you're trying to get, you cannot get, because kunza kuna kanamba kana ito SSN, bila yu SSN, everywhere you go, you're being asked for SSN, una. So unapata, life yako inakuwa challenge in sana. SSN is social security. Yeah. Oh, so hey, I watch a lot of CSI, you know oh. what I'm saying? Like, you know, me and Jason Bond to Baby. go. <laughs> <laughs> me by them, I can go to New York. Yeah. Since you yeah, 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 yeah. watch this my movie, man. <laughs> oh, this is 11th Street. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it can be challenging. So without it, it's 
hectic. Yeah, we yani bila matarad basically. But if you have them your life is it, it can be swift especially kwa when mtu mshap when mtu smart. Yeah. Na how uh, overdo masherehe manini unajua like where to put your money and you know how to to maneuver with your expenses. Eh. So most of these people who go there the, with a visit visa wana kwanga wapi? Wana kwanga wana kwanga. Na skewa na osha masani. Sasa sana sana watu wanaenanga na visit visa wanapenda kwenda siato. Na wanapenda kwenda siato kwa sababu kuna kwanga na hizi majobs za care giving. Yeye yeah, nasipia Sana kwa sababu unapata unaweza unalipwa okay si 200 dollars. Ina ina unapata sasa uki andiko kwa care giving job unaweza pua 200 dollars in a day. Lakini haijaeko makasi so ndio maana ina pesa mingi if you know what i mean sitaki kusema ah, nini okay ijaeko makasi ni bakdo hey. we shika iwe chunga huyo mnyanye hey. songa nayo hii hey, songa nayo so unapata hiyo pesa ina kuanga mzuri sana kwa watu au watu ka kuna mshosho nilipatanga huko hiyo eh, mshosho ameangusha maplot hapa anafanya nyanga hiyo kazi yake ya giving eh yeah. ameangusha maplot hapa ruiru akanionyesha ni mansion yake imejenga kaniambia mimi hata nikikosa makaratasi msichana wangu wacha nimalize hiyo tu nyumba nirudi Kenya kwa sasa atakuwa shajipanga hapa. Anatuma, anatuma, anatuma. Anatuma, anatuma, anatuma. Na natumia watu ambao wanamuinvestia vizuri. Yeah, so hata akirudi, hatateseka. Okay. So, if someone wants to go there now, mm. what is the process that you want them to follow? Okay, sana sana saa watu utumia like uh, iyo, iyo kuplay green card ile ya kawaida. Okay. Ama sasa uneza apply for visit visa, uneza apply for student visa. Ingini inakuanga ni, there is another type of visa that you can apply. Ti marriage. Okay, your marriage sasa unless sasa kama uende kwa hizo online dating, huko. online dating hizo za Facebook upate mtu and then akufailie ama kwanza akupatie fiance visa ukifika huko mu adjust status vitu kai hizo. Oh. But watu wengi wanaenda na visit visa hutaseka because so unaona umefika huko hauna makara inaanza ngasani either utafute mtu akuwe upate makaratasi. So either utatafuta mtu akuwe ya genuine ama watu wengine sasa inakuwa na Mimi kuna wanafanya business ya ndoa. Tusisema hivyo tusipate wewe wewe. No, nimesikia kuna watu wanafanya hizo za ndoa by the way. Sema mimi ndakuoa lakini ulilipe. <laughs> mm. No of those stories. Yeah. So you pay for a husband or like, wife. Na, na sasa hizo zinakuanga shida because nikisikiza watu wengi like in person wenye nimewasikiza inakuanga challenge because mume agree na mtu like maybe utampatia a certain amount. But unapata bado anakusumbua na kuambia oh niko short rent e month nataka 2000 na usipotuma sasa ana kumanipulate like hata sign a certain papers zenye za anakufailia oh. nazo so watu wanakuwa like emotionally financially and sexually manipulated unajua like nyinyi mmepangana na unajua hamfai like hizo vitu wa kumanipulate but unapata sasa anakwambia oh maybe ushamlipa ile mlikuwa me agree but sasa bado anashinda kikujia oh nataka gari gari yangu imeharibika sina rent sina nini So wow. kuna watu okay. wanakipitia sana wakipitia hiyo process. Na taxi, kuendesha taxi, kuendesha trailer. Eh, hey, kwanza kuendesha trailer. There's a time I want to go the stage. <laughs> Wewe wacha mimi ni kushow kwanza. <laughs> There's a time uh-huh. when things are not working now. Uh-huh. I wanted to go to the stage. When Obina was not Obina. Ah, I was called Obina Ike Igwe. Ndio hey. sana anzaanza nikaangalia nikasema e comedy no as a musician before. Mm. Like ah. kikata. Uh-huh. Mimi nenda Amerika kuendesha malori. <laughs> 18 wheeler <laughs> nilisikia iko na pesa mbaya <laughs> walai wazimu ah hiyo time yenye nilikuwa nime niko nimeachwa eh hey, i dated a trucker nilishi maisha soft life wewe wako na pesa unapata na ha baby nimepata load ya 8000 kutoka California kwenda Washington unataka nikufanyie nini wako na pesa kuna ni kuna do ah iko na mimi love driving kwa long distance kuna okay kuna watu wanasema sometimes in, in, ni saa zingine ni pia ikikuitikia ah silo riziko tu <laughs> okay, kuna challenges zake though but iko na do. Kuna pesa. Yeah. So lorry na nothing. Lorry, nothing na hii biashara inaitangwa ya group care homes. Like ya kuangalia wanasema ya kuangalia wanyanyi. Unaendanga una buy nyumba iko na six bedroom, unaweka wanyanyi hapo. Unapata nyumba kama hiyo inakujeneratia kitu kama 30,000 40,000 a month. So, na hiyo ndio kitu yenye nilikuwa nataka kufanya next because i know anas mwenye sasa kona mbili akona tracking na kona hiyo group care home i want anas like this thing life with a na cheza na pesa vibaya sana ana cheza na pesa vibaya sana okay how much money do we need to start that thing for for the home because it is you just need to get the money and to get how your much? education licensed so i miss you like in a range how much Can to get like remotely? a home? Hmm? 
Siku someone can do it from here. Sio uko huko. So utafute pesa tutume. Eh. Wewe utafute oh, home weke. Mimi business. Unaangalia business. I'm going to how much we need to get the home. Wacha nini niangalize logistic. Yeah, because if I've, by the I've heard about it. I've heard that that thing yeah. has serious money. I've heard that the tracking has serious, serious money. money too. Because even for the homes, so I went on employ what? Yeah. Because now you have all these people you want to give care of nini nini. Eh mm. uh, sasa uh, wewe kuna home watu wanaleta wazazi wao eh. with the elderly because people are busy in the states. Si kama huko ati kwenye sijui but wenye akizeeka ati ushago. I want ushago. Exactly. Yeah, people are busy and you have a home you have those things are happening. It's a lucrative business for sure. Tafuta hiyo permit. Group homes na tracking it's giving people a lot of money. Mm. Nyingine ito foster care. It's giving people a lot of money. So state opportunities na kuanga sana like if you are smart na utafute kwenye hizo opportunities ziko utakuwa sawa by the people want to say that but pia kuna watu wamenda huko zikawaramba ni ukweli kuna that part too na pia like unajua sawa watu wengi wana expect singi like utafika kama maisha imejipa yeah yeah so you expect it to be ati unajua mimi ndani pia mimi nitashuka hivi nikaa nimeanza kuziokota hapo it took you how long Eh hey, mimi ili take time kwa sababu especially because you have to get your papers so unafika au watu wenye wako na hizo magroup homes ndio kwanza wanakuandika kama caregiver I had to do caregiver. Ah, oh, kwa wanyanyi. Eh yeah, mapunguza wanyanyi for like seven months bana. Ah, oh, nice. Kwa sababu sasa hiyo time sasa ndio ninangojia like mambo yote ivane ndio nikwe nipate license yangu ya like, California niende nianze job. And then kuna watu wanaendanga huko wana save lakini wanatumia watu pesa huku nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Unatumia brother fulani ama uncle fulani uh-huh. anakupanga vizuri. Anakupanga. Unarudi unapata uwe. <laughs> yaani unatuma mamita kadhaa na zika. Wewe hujapitia search? Yes, mimi sijapitia. Unatumia mtu huko akakufanyia. Mimi I'm very mimi like sana sana kwanza watu wenye na support is this my sister my brother na sasa like uh, helping each other with my partner. Au peke yao. I don't send money like to extended families and what's not. And like my my brother ilikuwa ile like ni come set to a set and then mm. to to move on cuz sasa tume grow up pamoja na mashida mingi staki eti nijipate mimi na omoka na wana baki nyuma yeah. so recently nina nikachapa job nikachapa job nikachapa job nikaamua nimrushie kwa kitu aone kitu yenye anaweza fanya aone kama itapika mm. imsaidie pia hivyo ndio isikuwe eti ni ile sasa monthly they expecting me to support them so nataka ile na saidia mtu one time ajinue ndio pia sasa. mimi sasa niji grow mimi bila kujua eti kuna mtu monthly anashinda kini Yeah. nitegemea cuz hiyo ndio kitu inafanyikanga watu wengi wako US unapata like monthly uko na watu wengi wanakutegemea sana so you're making money but it keeps going to Kenya it goes home mm. how do you deal with the long distance parenting it somehow it it it's hard being away from them but we make it easier kwa sababu especially in this era ya yeah, masimu ma face time so most of the time of course in the morning lazima tuanze na face time like when they are going to school Every day so watajitayarisha when they in the car because the dad drops them to school but any first time all the way from home hata wananziaga wakiwa breakfast so na feel ni kama niko home because wata mm-hmm. wataeka simu hapo from time you know half fe, nini breakfast to face time wakienda kwa gari until they dropped to school and then now when they come back home then tuna camp kwa hata 2 hours so zinya tanaeka simu tu hapo nione tu kenye wanafanya even we are not talking they are doing their things but nataka tu kuwaona if i'm free so that's how like every day like we must talk two times minimum okay mm-hmm. coffee time the kids understand mom is hustling especially my daughter she has grown and she grows she has grown and then she's not yani kako so mature kako so understand can i understand mpaka it's a sacrifice i'm doing mpaka jana kaliandika all the sacrifices that you make because mimi na jumba mpaka jinsi sacrifice you know i'm making a sacrifice yeah So she's very understanding. Sometimes she cries like for first time unaniambia oh mommy I miss you a lot I wish you were here. Yeah. Sometimes I'm pigana niambia there's something I wanted to talk to you maybe niko kwa shift. Afu namwambia I'll call you. Unasikia kama amesema okay in sadness. You know, some vitu kama hizo pia zinani affect sana. So especially every time like maybe kama ni miss sana akakiniandikia text akisema vile kama ni miss na kanalia because sometimes katanitumia recording ya kakilia akakiniambia vile kana ni miss. Woi, hiyo inanifanyanga nasikia kama nataka kuchukua the next flight. I know. So hey, when it's, kids it's send those to voice but... notes make you feel guilty. Ah, oh, but that's so, so, what to do cuz Jeff Kia could relocate kurudi huko. Yes, we at this at this point pale nimefika nimekuja alafu. Alafu si ukamwambia housewife. 
Hey, wewe unajua after umeguza pesa yako wewe? <laughs> By the way, kapesa kana kuanga. Kuna kaburi ka kuna kuza nice, sign nah, just just money. Good Big man. money. Good hey. money. Ai, you been what are you talking about? Aiwezi. Aiwezi. He makes good money, but at a point yenye nimefika, the kind of money I make siezi yaza kurudi ni kuwa wa housewife. <laughs> Kuja rudi mtu wa biashara. Wacha unless sasa hivi kama ni mm. naweza na kuja hapa na i make sure ni biashara yenye haita flop na inanipatia pesa yenye almost equivalent to what i make you can. oh by all means kenya is nice the culture the food the social life yeah they say that when they don't live here sisi tunaishi hapa sasa wameenda ni kitu ya kushautia watu hapa the culture is nice is rich the food jambo madondo rolex <laughs> At the culture is nice. Wa Masai. Wa Masai na Wajaluo. Unagonga hizo fast food ndio unaanza ku appreciate Githeri Obina. Ile Githeri ni kwa natukia. Hii sasa ni nilifika kani mwaambia tebu ende ni kwa ile street mnitafutie Githeri. Oh my god. Ni Githeri ni pite nayo. Na nilikuwa naitukia. But you go to the hamburger ni kitu mtu anachoka nayo. Unakula hamburger zimedungwa masindano mpaka unasema oh god. Pita nayo. I did not sign up for this. Kwani hamuna ugali huko? Ugali yao ni mbovu. Unless kama uko na unga nyimeleto kutoka Kenya. Ungayo nothing is the Kwani same. Kwani bana Nothing tastes the same obina. Oh. Ni taste too bad ni ugali. Pizza yao bado si mzuri kama ya pizza ile ya huko. Ah. Eh. Suji tengeneze kwa nyumba. Si bado natengeneza na vitu zenye unatengeneza nazo. <laughs> But honestly this just something about Kenya. Yaani hata saa zingine natoka night shift na skin kama niko in a graveyard. Kuna ki silence kina bomb tu. You know the way like you can be here. Yes umelala hakuna mtu anakuongelesha but you can feel like there is something happening there's in, there. in the environment. Yes, you don't feel the heart. So uko kwa nyumba lonely already kwa nyumba uko very lonely and then in the environment still feels like uko tu hapa among the graveyard people. And now you want to take the children there. Mm -hmm. Why that decision? Hey cuz unajua kama saa hizi ni kwa sababu their paperwork imekuwa stuck for some times kwa embassy. That's the only reason why they are not with me. But mimi napenda watu wangu nataka kwa karibu na wao. Dada amekubali. Of course, eh uh, sasa yeye he will be frequenting sana sana kukuja because okay. ni kama 50-50 ujue ame grow sana kwa kariya yake. So you could relocate. Okay. The anxiety of starting afresh of course it's it's intense. So atakuwa anakuja frequently until probably we figure out if we can have like something unajua kama biashara zenye naweza kuwa na cuz yeye yeah, kwanza uko mahesabu akuwa na manage ma biashara zetu kimahesabu wise then it would be good okay mm. have you experienced any racism kind of vibe very in much in the hospital recently kwanza <laughs> sikuwa na experience until recently mtu akaniambia they don't want a nurse of my ethnicity to take care of them i was shocked cuz nilikuwa na by then nilikuwa shindanga nikibrag nikiambia watu miss day experience racism people love me eh hey, Until I went to a patient's room, they literally shouted and yelled at me. Get out of my room. Yeah. You're black. I don't want another of your ass. I don't see you. Can I get another nose? You're dirty. Sasa kama wana sema ni black mimi nikiingia hapo na shindano. Kama hii rangi, anasema you're black. Sasa mimi nikiingia hapo na shindano niambia excuse me. Bring a booty. We got unafinya hivi unafinya ngash. Oh. Aka kufukuza? Aka nifukuza. It's Don't real. touch me. Sometimes it's subtle, sometimes it's actually out loud and akwambia. But sometimes unaweza ni subtle, yani unaweza notice it. Una feel. Yeah, huyu. Mhm. Mm And especially kwanza wakina you are from Africa, wako na hiyo perception you're like probably you're not knowledgeable, you don't know what uh. you're doing. So, so for our Africa? So wana skin kama wako na uoga ya wewe kwa dunga. Za dunga vein wrong. <laughs> Because <laughs> some of us Africans we are there illegal. Kuna mtu akako Australia huko ana idea but ame cook pepper za kutuko yeye. Nataka kudunga mtu kidogo. So you believe if the children go there they will be okay they'll not suffer because at that time I really wanted to go to the states and then when the racism things blew a few months ago ile time when they killed uh, Floyd yeah, I, I remember. I got to the point I was like ah uh, no. This is I'm not okay. What I want I'm here. okay in Kenya. I'm kind of a big deal here. I know. <laughs> My kids are okay. Mm -hmm. I'm I, I know how to maneuver yeah. and move things. I'm like, so I go to the states near the from zero. I love ni kwa na kimbizo na mapolisi hivi. Staki. Mi apa ni kipita mapolisi wana ni pigia salute. Ni fike uko wanza kuni kimbiza. So I'm not happening. Eh. Yeah. So you're not afraid of that. Me, I'm very afraid of that. It gives me anxiety, of course. But come out to join. You know, I'm gonna survive. 
Yeah. God yeah, is yeah, in the center. I just let some things, I let God take care of things because I want to be with my kids. So, because now I'm scared, I'm just going to keep doing this long distance where I'm seeing them after every four months. No. I don't mean I'm going to depend on your intention of parenting. I have to be there, they have to be here. Okay. Oh, well. hmm. Speaking of parent and family, Muli Rudiana Namze. Yeah. Kwanini? Kwanini, you got disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not disappointed, I'm just asking, like, I saw, you know, you I knew like you before, and then at some point, I was like, okay, then, Mumirudiana, I'm like, okay, I'm just asking, 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 I'm Eh eh ukawacha traka ukarudi kwa mzee. Ai usoko ni mbaya uko nje ubina. Better the devil you know. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, then also you being uh, uh nurse Judy umekam I've seen you've done a couple of interviews wana kimbiza left right and center. Mm. Eh wanaume kwenye DM wanafanyaje? Eh wana eh wana mimi hata si hata saizi. Mimi si juu they've always been sliding by the M scenes there. I've always been a hottie. <laughs> Who's your celebrity crush? Niseme. Yeah, yeah. It's a safe space here. Obina. Mbona unaribu mimi? Wacheni kuniangalia hivyo na na wivu. Naona hawa wananiangalia na wivu. Kimewaramba. Kime waramba. Sicho. Sasa unataka ni disappoint nimerudiana na bwana after na ni disappoint by saying another crash. <laughs> Cannot disappoint the man twice. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. But I crash on you. Don't worry. <laughs> Especially because you are a good dad. But they oh, let me give you your flowers. Obina, by the way, me, I love the dad side of you. Why is me being a dad supposed to be a turn on to women? There's just something about it. I go to the gym. Like, six pack, hello. Like, you I got a good six body. Pack. Like, I look good. But y'all not seeing that. You <laughs> know, not the father. But I'm like, okay, then. I'm about to say, fuck I the gym. I think because I wanted to grow up in a very messed up society, a community where, like, iki to ya. And your man on our nanga, like, what you're doing is what you're supposed to be doing. But you'll see people praising you a lot when you're a present dad like that. Because, Niki, to, like, to me grow up, to be, to kiona, like, intentional, being an, yeah, at years, kwanza kwa mwana ume. Me, I get shocked when people tell me, Congratulations on being a good dad. I'm like, yeah, as opposed to, like, <laughs> our, okay, what was I supposed to? And then you guys see, even though you on their channel is like 5% of what happens in my house. Like, yeah. we have 90% that people don't see. Yeah, like, every day when I walk through the door, mm -hmm. All the kids run to hug me. Yeah. And when you walk in, you can't record because yeah. I'm tired. I've had a long day. Yeah. Ada will jump on me. Pushki will remain hanging on me. Brizal and Kwamele and hug. Lino Dakuja. Yeah, what's up, brother? Ni, ni, ni. Like we have that vibe. And when I'm Pushki always removes my shoes. When I'm putting Pushki does not allow me to push shoes or remove. Like, no, 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 no. Let me do it. Mm -hmm. When I'm wearing my tie, Lola and Ataka and this idea. Mm -hmm. Like we have a lot that people don't see. I'm always like. If I would just put cameras in the house and you guys would see everything. That happens organically. Yes. Because even what happens sometimes when you're talking with them, then they start a conversation. I'm like, hey. I know those. But I'm like, you guys have missed the juice. Like, I'm like. So organic. Yes. 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 Like, tomorrow morning, we're going to an orphanage in Mwiki. Kids have been waiting for this. Mm. They've removed their clothes. Yeah. They've packed on. They can't. When I'm in the salon, Nini. Yeah. Back when I was living, coming here, they telling me, Dad, catch up in the orphanage. Mm. Now, but you want to go to the orphanage wearing gold. <laughs> <laughs> you want to wear jewels. You want, what do you think? Yeah. It's a simple t shirt and jeans yeah. or tights. Something simple. Mm. So you don't go there and start making other people feel, feel like yeah. they lack or mm. showing off. And, you know, you dress down and. Down, yeah. Like there's so much. Mm. And then when I see parents, dads, mm who are absent in their kids life i look at them like my brother you don't know what you're missing yeah you don't know what you're missing mm -hmm. and then i see some mothers who are stopping the fathers to access the children i'm just like woman you? you're missing this child's life and i see also some men who are refusing for women to access their children i'm like you're missing it's about the child yeah 
the church will be able to locomote freely between parents. Mm -hmm. Like myself, when the kids want to talk to their mothers, have yeah, fun. Of it's you not of my be, business. Yeah, I can't up. say, and they know where I live. And mm -hmm. I'm like, if you want to come, you, you know want to, just don't mess with education yeah. because you know they have to be on school on Monday till mm -hmm. this day. But it is basic. Mm -hmm. It is it's something I'm not supposed to be congratulated on uh -huh. or celebrated on. It's just me being me. Uh, uh, yeah. But people are not so used to it. That's what I'm talking about. Wa mama wa media DM heavy. Hey, baka mi na sema ni kama ni kona nyota ya wa mama. Walai. You said this to to two young ins when you are watoto. Wara nengalevi. But wa mama. Who be no? I don't understand you. Ni ni ona juu like how it makes us like you know. Ah. No. Any ati unapata bwana mwenye ako present na kusaidia na mtu. Yaani unaona ni big deal. They're doing what they're supposed to do. But now to you because to grow up na hiyo mentality already. Now you start seeing like even they're doing you a favor for being present. <laughs> yaani mimi nilikuwa naona bwana yako na change diaper na shtuka. <laughs> na shtuka <laughs> like guy. They're doing you a favor for being present. <laughs> like, come on, man. Si ni kosa vipi let me grow up. Ah, the society yenye tume grow up ndio imetume sub. So we it's... see these things like ni kama yani ni favor kabisa. So you people see fathers doing these things at tano. Eh hey, it's, it's a pure tano. Yani unaweza penda wewe mtu. I'm about to start changing diapers on my kids. <laughs> this people got to wear diapers again. <laughs> Nico like your ten but I'm putting diapers right. <laughs> For video. Record. <laughs> <laughs> then you get your women. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's I think it's a slippery slope if you're doing it for likes and views. Yeah. Uh, because I know also of the someone who told me of a prominent person, I'll not mention the person obviously. Yeah. He does it for views. Nilisikia yeye ufika home, anaweza chukua watoto wake, ana record hivi kidogo, wakifanya whatever, ana post alafu anapotea mpaka kesho, hata kwa hivi kwao kama record associate na watoi. And I've also seen other people personally. Yeah who are even in the public spaces, mm. they are not cool with their children when the cameras are off. Mtota neza mwitata mara 15, ask you, Dad, eh. Dad, I could do stories like, I'm busy. You can't see I'm busy. Eh. And then when the camera, I go, hey, and mambo, I mambo, yeah. mama, mambo, baba, ni, ni, ni. I'm just like, and you know, children, what I learned about kids, kids remember and value moments more than the gifts. It's true. Like my kids right. always say, Dad, tw Dad, turn it to the downstairs. I'm just like, I'm like, sit, let me run your ball. Sit back, no, yo. Ball. Yeah. But later when it hits you, wait, I mean, it's not about the ball. It's about your presence with them. Una kisa game za ufala, but that ni kimbise, that ji feature. My hide and seek. Eh, that ji feature. You're just like, oh, so you play hide and seek. Like, you know, in a bamba, you go hide in the pillar, yeah. so you hide behind the car. It jazzes them and they remember yeah, and it makes yeah. them go like, and, and I value that moment because it makes you understand also mm -hmm. character traits of your kids. True. You know when you play them, you understand. That's when you understand their, even their personalities. You're like, who you? When you're playing football, who you? Who you? Who you? Who you? Who you? Like me, I know my son. When you're yeah. playing football, yeah. you better not win that match because if you win that match, ata kasi rika mara mefuras juu nini? So unajaro na kufunga, you know. Ono mwati yetu. My son kwa nyumba yeni Ronaldo, yeni Champe, you know, ama mukifanya hii, I'm wrestling. My son is 13, but he believes me, I go to the gym, but he believes to Kenya, I'm wrestling. I saw them, I'm wrestling with their uncle. Was it today? Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, I'm wrestling with the uncle. I'm looking at this guy, I'm like, really? But when you're with him, ah, I like, yeah, it makes him feel a certain yeah, way. Yeah. The, so, like, the presence, mm -hmm. this is for parents, for dads. The presence works magic than the gifts and the money. Because even if you brought them with the gifts, mm -hmm. they never valued than the presence. They will be excited, yes, but the moments count more. When I go excited, it's like, oh my God, a brand new phone. In the next 30 minutes. My son, I'm buying a toy. That is a thing. You know, super much quicker than 500. Already two minutes are shy, sir. I'm just an hour. They forget. The price tag for the children. How to need presents. To me, pick an adult. Because when I'm cooking with them, they all come through. They love it. And... Personally, we before it came on social media, we used to do it just in the house. Generally, even yeah. when I was living with my other baby mama, me and my, the kids, we've always just been together. Yeah. Gang. Mm. Nikifika, can you tell me a movie? Yeah. Gang. Yeah. Playing, nini, nini. Mm -hmm. So even when things shifted, mm -hmm. it's always been the same. So even I look at it now and the cameras, I'm like, you guys have no idea. We have so much that we don't record. Mm -hmm. And I wish other people would try and embrace a few things we do because we learn every day mm. and then every child is different mm. 
and the way you relate with every child is very, it's very, very different. different. It's not a blanket. Nini water, kaindi chiri. Kunula pendi kuka. Kunula pendi nini nini. So it's different. And people do, um, sometimes I get disappointed when I see absent fathers, mm. intentional absent. See wale absent because, because I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm a because of, yeah. I'm a drama. Or because of circumstances. Kunule mwenye anarukanga tungwe. Nikola, si ufanyi tu DNA. Then come to Rakos, you just do, just be there, you know. And then I get disappointed when I see mothers who are just bitter mothers. Mm -hmm. So they take it out on the baby daddy by allowing them access to the child, not knowing they're doing this disservice to the child and not the father. True. How don't know you, Toto? I'm like, so, utaki aone Toto because of you. Mtoto amekwambia ataki kuona. And you know it's happening a lot. And me, the men who are in my DM telling me mm -hmm. the situations they're going through with baby mamas. Mm -hmm. When I was having my situation, then the Tumbili situation, then many other situations I've mm. spoken about, even including gender-based violence, mm. wanaume wana suffer. And nobody cares. That's a sad fact. Wanaume ka right now, mm. if you get up now on this show, na ni mwageo drink na ni slap, na wende. Kesho, watu watakwana nchekila, wana pigwa jekofi na wana muke, wewe. Exactly, now that's the thing. But if I get up now, and you do the same, not even the same, ni kuskume tu kichwa hivi. Ama nishike tu nyole na ninyo hivi na ni... Eh? Kesho! <laughs> cancel! Cancel! How could you do that to a woman? She could have been your mother! She could have been your... Sister. I'm like, okay, so when... This the did to the standard. guy, I could not have been the brother or the father. Or it's double standard and nobody cares. Mm. And I find it very disgusting and disappointing. I don't know if we have a solution. I'm trying to talk about it. Mm. And encouraging other men to also come out. And talk about everything of from which parenting. Men will never, now that's they the rarely because men. Yeah, men will never. Most of the time, men just mm. tend to keep things to themselves. Yeah. So, it might, so your Shuali. mission might not be very successful, but keep trying. No, eventually, yeah. you, someone has to start. Yeah. Yeah, even before when ladies, do you know Kitambo ladies were not supposed to be heard? Mm. Ladies were supposed to be seen. Yeah. Then ladies started talking about women's rights. Mm. Women can be empowered, yes, women can do whatever. Women can do whatever. Yes, yeah, so when we're empowering women, we mm. forgot about boy child, and then we also forgot to train boy child how to deal with an empowered woman, mm. or we forgot also to tell women, yeah. as much as we're empowered, yeah. also this is how you handle men. But it's about girl power, girl power, girl power, girl power, girl power, which is good. But when we think, women right now are so powerful, they don't know how to handle men, because now men are now considered weaklings, mm -hmm. and also men don't know how to deal with an empowered woman. Because to me, fika home, say, you at 2 a.m. 2 a.m. We are doing the show. Mm -hmm. You get to the house now, your husband wants food. Today, I'm going to have my interview, I'm going to photo shoot. I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going But I understand, yeah. she was working, she's tired, mm -hmm. but back in the day, no matter the time, when the man says, chakula, my sister, Satisa, usiku, you better get up and prepare the but food. But believe me, that's me. Na? Me am a typical old school girl. Una muka satisa? Mimi naeza muka satisa. Ate like my husband naeza kwa mekuja 2 a.m. Ni mzo kuna njaa? Ya. Yeah. Ah! Kama anajaa, njaa, ni saa tundu kama. Kama kuna njaa, al warm food. Mi am still a typical, I'm very submissive. And that's the side of me enya watu. Okay. Watu wala likuwa na ni follow from Kitambo. Mm. You know especially people started following me when I came to the limelight in a good way. Juni beti kela wali nileta kwa limelight. Wali nipata ile time kwanza nikuwa neka content ya. I used to wake up. Na tengenezea bwana yangu breakfast mzuri, iko na all balance diet, and then naika ka side note. Kuzi yuma time ma penzi liku yume nonga. <laughs> <laughs> Unamandike ka side note? Yeah, naika ka side note, like akuwe na sikupoa, na mkumbusha na mpenda, na, ah. na, na muappreciate for what he does for mtu kai zoneka hapo kando. People used to follow me back then. Wewe ni jini. They know. <laughs> and you, Kuyu ni jini. <laughs> and you see. <laughs> also, when we, because I got married ni kiuwa 18 years. Ah. Oh, oh wow, I, I had no... <laughs> I got married when I was 18 years. Sayuko? Tebuka, guess, na usijaribu kunizesha. 25, 26? Hey, thank you. I'm 29. I'm turning oh. 30. Wow. Next year, October. But anyway, me ni leolo nikiwa 18 years. And I was a typical good wife. Life happens, Obina. But I used to... <laughs> <laughs> I used to be... When I was 18, I was like, I'm going to sugar shambi. <laughs> no, by the way, I have remained like that for a long time, Sana. Even uh, even now, most of the time I try. I feel at long distance. But even when we are together, even now, when I come back, come my time, nime kuja April TZ, nime rudi. I was still doing the same things. Side note, bado iko? Eh, note. Hmm. Eh, note kidogo, note. 
Ni kuandika tu nilisahau. Lakini breakfast iko. Eh breakfast iko. Balanced. Ama sai breakfast ni breakfast. Kwa kula mkate na chai usonge. As long as nimeserve. As long as Hello parents. I know schools are opening very soon and you are walking in and out of bookshops looking for books for your children. But do you know that there are parents who have the books that you need and you have books that other parents need? Now that is where we come in. It is called Kitabu Swap. Check out Kitabu Swap, the only one-stop bookshop where you swap books. Juu nilikuwa nimefika nga point hizi vitu za kutumia watu pesa zimekuwa zikiniramba sana. So nilikuwa nasema actually I will never. Kwanza hizi vitu za stranger pia kushinda ki kudanganya na long sad stories, you know. Sasa zingine zinakuanga tu kuku manipulate it's not even real. So nikasema anga nitaacha kukuwa msamaria mwema cuz at the end of the day anyway kuna watu wengi wako na shida na sitaweza hata kuwasaidia wote. Especially I'm sure in the social media space you get that a lot too. Every day unaamka kila mtu anakwambia oh sina rent, mimi ni school fees so utasaidia nani uache nani so i decided because sitaweza kusaidia hao watu wote mwenye ni rent mwenye ni mtoto mgonjwa mwenye ni nini okay kuna scenario naangalia anga alafu like there is enough kabisa receipt ya like mimi kusaidia na saidia yenye kabisa inaka hizi vitu za rent nini sisaidia ngi cause hata mimi nakumbuka at some point nili have mpaka kuchukua diapers nizungushe so kama uko na mikono mbili enda hata uoshe nguo upate pesa Iki kitu ya tio unaka unaniambia uni lose jobs you two months ago it's been hard for you ana mimi kuna times kwa na job ubine nilikuwa nazungusha diaper kwa jua naenda kwa soko watu wanashika juu nilianza kufika point mtu anashindwa ku buy the whole pack so nika decide wacha nifungue pack niuze basi at least kama moja kama moja unaenda kwa soko wa mama wanakushikia na makao anakuambia ai hii si sidhani ni material poor diaper iko na material <laughs> Si kuna hagis mm-hmm. na sijui nini material yake sijui ni better than sijui gani sasa kwanza sijui nilikuwa nauza kampuni gani ile inapata msusu within one hour imesoka vibaya menona but i was trying to me hang yeah mm-hmm. so yani mimi nimetry ku hustle hata ile time yesi na do i want people to do the same like kama ni ununua unga upike mandazi uende uuze cause kila mtu ana mashida zake hata mimi yeah. at this point even when i'm making money niko i have now bigger problems You know napata niko na project nafanya na I'm short of like $10,000. So kila mtu akona mashida zake on different levels. So saa zingine nilifika point nikaona si za kusaidia kila mtu. So hii kukuwa msamaria mwema nikaacha. But sasa yeye venye alinikujia na plus ako in the limelight. Siko naona venye anaweza kataa na pesa yangu anyway. Na alafu oh, it was alone. Alikuwa amenikujia at first nimpatie sijui I think 800. I don't remember but it was a, a amount yenye ilikuwa mob either $800 or something. So mimi nikamwambia because nilifika ile point nikasema kama ni kulonia mtu pesa I want to loan something that najua even if haitarudi ni sawa So nikamwambia you know what mimi sitaweza kukulonia hiyo pesa yenyewe nataka but naweza kulonia kitu kama 200 ilikuwa 200 ama 150 mimi nimesawa hizo figures nikamwambia naweza kulonia 150 ndio akanibembeleza akaanza kuniambia wewe si unajua mimi ni orphan me I'm a dad niko na mtoto hata sijui sijalipa rent mtoto hana chakula yake wacha mtu akijana hizo sad story and then also when you have gone through problems you tend to empathize a lot cuz unaanza kujiekanga immediately kwa like those times you have gone such through things cuz unajua kuna time kasi tumepitia ma scenarios kai hizo like tunafika point mpaka tumeenda kukopa kwa duka you know so nikiimagine hivyo nikamfeel na kaniambia kuna deal ya brand hajalipo ndio anangoja na nikajua pia mimi at some point kuna brand niko anangoja inilipe so niki, na relate tu na vitu ananiambia na pia mimi ni often so akisema hizo vitu zinani touch but sasa kwa hali ariaribu nikamfika point juu ya vile nimebeleza nikamwambia hata basi hiyo 150 nitakupea na usirudishe hata lakini sitaweza kupatia 800 guy the boy kept calling nimetoka night shift obina nimechoka hiyo siku kwanza nilikuwa nimearibu siku na patient kwa sababu ya venye alikuwa amenielia So nilikuwa nataka ku rest. Nimeshamtumia hii 150 but he kept calling. Na mwambie sina ndo nyingine asitaza kutumia nyingine. What I have sent you is what I have and that's it. Please. He? Ana Nicola and call him block. Sasa nilikuwa nishamtumia pesa kwa namba yangu. Akakuja kwa WhatsApp. Anaendelea kuni call. So nikaona ni kama nao this is spamming me with calls. So nikafeel ni kama ai maybe atasibaha. Maybe he has been hacked. 
because the way he's behaving kama ni wewe uniambie like ukuje uniambie like niko pedo nikwambie niko ratuzo nikupatie na expect to accept na uende kwingine utafute how to know kini na u appreciate so he was not even saying thank you he was not even appreciating so he kaza kuni click inaweza kuwa tasibaha inaweza kuwa mehagiwa account because mimi atasijui sauti yake hata kama alikuwa na nikola na ni voice note because he sent me millions of voice recordings akinibembeleza ni mtumi hiyo do but unaona mimi sijui in person so inaweza kuwa like ni mtu tu bado ametuma voice yeah. record so ni kani fanya ni feel ni kama ako hacked ndio hiyo time ni reach out Georgina the first question i asked her was by any chance do you know kama account ya baha imehakiwa cuz there's someone spamming me with calls akitaka do kutoka kwangu na nimeanza nimeshatuma but now i feel like maybe ha, ni mtu anani spam ama i mean ni mtu anani scam yeah. kaniambia no he has not been hacked na sasa ndio kanielezea what was happening ah so kutoka venye alinieleza hivyo nikasikia nimejam nikasema yani huyu mtu amenisubiri na hizi calls zote na kumbe actually hata Kenya alikuwa ananiambia see what he was asking money for so nikasikia tu nimejam na ndio maana nikareact eh hey, but i got attacked eh hey, una making hizo pesa zote unashindwa kutuambia nini na 150 na kuuma ni wangu unataka kuwekana ati nataka kuwekana mm, ulikuwa unataka kuwekana ime backfire sasa hey, unakuja hapa for sympathy yeah. i didn't even know that mean Yo kuna me I saw that one for oh for her to even send this money she knew something was going to come out of this story Oh my god I didn't yes. even know that So wale hawa walikuwa wanapangiana vitu hawa mautaamua alafu wanafanganya hapa People don't know my type how now Yeah so that was the story Eh hey, people don't know my type sasa wewe unaweza Okay what's your type Eh hey, baby I have a type Mhm Mhm Eh that's not my type at all hata kama nikuweka mtu mm. lazima akwe Unaikanga type gani Kuna ile <laughs> Unataka kujua kama unataka. Sijaiekana but if I was to I know I have a type yenyewe naweza sema ah I can't suck it in na nikubai hata gari na nyumba. That you have to be. Plus me actually I I I have a thing for more mature and older people than these youngings. How me can deal with the mature. Mimi nataka nikae na mtu mwenye tunaweza have a deep conversation, meaningful conversation. Anaweza nielewa on another level yenye CEO ya kito ito. Cuz I think it's still like nyonyi. Si sasa ndo anaka mnyonyi. Eh si wao mtu mwenye tu ni eh no. Mimi kwanza young boys can not be even something out. Eh but we pia umekapitia. Anywho, thanks so much for coming to the show. Your conversation is very interesting. Tumekuwa hapa for how long? Hekaribu 2 hours. Uh, yes. It's about been 2 hours. It's about oh. one and a half. Eh hey, tume We need yeah. to go. It's 2 a.m. Tauliza naingia kwa nyumba nikitoka wapi? Eh tambiwa. Nsanga wapi? Karibu mpaka nasikia kuchukua video call nionesha na evidence. Mm. Well, video but... video call lajiu kwa hapa. <laughs> yeah, tutaki ufike ikwe oh you know you know yeah. Mm-hmm. But thank you for coming through. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are such a sweet soul. You are jovial which is a good thing. I like good vibes and inshallah. I don't like watu rigid yeah kuna watu tu kwa nuna tuasira tu necessary mtu amefura tu me i like good vibes nataka tucheke tukule tufanye nini so keep doing that keep uh, educating our sisters and our brothers pale online about the nursing careers how they can do because i'm sure there are some people who have followed your steps and some people are looking up to you they're like i want to be like her mm-hmm. because where you started from you've said you are often that part i didn't know mm. you are not fan umuza my diapers i didn't know that part yeah. as well somehow you struggled in between back until you're there umetupwa inje mm-hmm. you you know nobody's perfect but somehow you still get up and smile and tell people wait wait i've seen sometimes when you post those things for i've gotten this car job nini nini wait wait i'm going sometimes i think when you're driving there sometimes you used to do videos when you're driving yeah. i've seen those ones as well and it goes on to motivate other people that's what this show is about motivation inspiration and sometimes to intrigue so if you intrigue their thoughts mm. some people have been motivated some people have been inspired keep doing it i keep people aware those people who like seeing una just as in obena when i do that I actually intentionally do it to motivate and inspire but unaona sasa kama I don't know whether I have mentioned it already in this interview yeah. when I was already here niki earn 35k yeah. I used to post about it yeah. and even talk about it and now I still do that transparency because idea the nurses were here na 1 million unaekea watu hapo na 1 million sasa nikiika hiyo sasa unapata like now people unaringa some people are attacking me oh now I'm sure you know ringa my brand mm, showing off now I'm not million. real anymore when I was earning little now that's when I was really an authentic there's something about Kenyans kutaka ku glorify no, people thrive in misery yeah 
Success is shunned if it's not shared. Tengeneze 1 million lakini 990 tumia watu watasema wewe ni wetu. Lakini tengeneza 1 million alafu 900 ni yako 100 unasaidia watu kadhaa watasema ah wewe uacha kujisikia. It what happens? When you're suffering people are happy because ah wewe umesafa pia mimi nimesafa man eh tumesafa. Lakini wewe umekuwa successful. Wewe umekuwa successful aje. Yeah so wewe unaingia. That's what happens. So you keep doing, I've told you, keep doing it. Even this show, I do it here, I do inspiration, but there's someone watching say, which show is this? Mm. Which nonsense? Yeah. I'm like, you don't understand the setup. You don't have the vision yeah. that I have. Mm. But I don't blame you. But also, your ignorance is not my responsibility. And I know I used to struggle with things of trying to make people understand, but in Don't. I don't. will die trying to make people understand yep. what you're trying to do or to try to understand who you don't. really are. And especially people who come from the blogs, I yeah. to like, Mimi si juu ni mtu anakaaje but no, if you get bait. to learn me for like what I do really negative news sells so the blogs if they come to and say you can't believe what Obina did mm. Obina and Judy spoke about nothing in the US and whatever nobody going to read that shit mm. but if they come and say oh my god Obina and Judy flatting yo it's click well nini watu wana watch it wanasema wapi which part which part hata watakata hiyo part wa post waseme hey oh my god akia watu nini huyu ni bibi ya mtu oh bina sio alikuwa na nani sio nini that's what happens yeah when a man bites a dog it's news but when a dog bites a man it's so don't care about what they say they put it out of context and everything the people are interested to know you or the people who have a clean aura they will not say no ule no but the negative ones I'm telling you even today, do you know Jesus was walking around this earth, mm. healing people, mm. feeding the hungry, and a fufu wa mekufa, hata kwa ngata na dem, so atuwe sema alirusha mutu dem, but they killed the brother. He didn't do anything negative. Na liliwa na priests, chief priests na watu wa kanisa. Mm. It's in the Bible. Yeah. And that I was know, Jesus. Bible. Yes, yeah. he didn't do anything. Sasa wewe. Ume, 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 like ume, you see ume, guy, Yobina. Na sema tu. Now you see like when you mention evil. <laughs> the whole interview was positive and evil. Was positive. They will take like Your a part. part. Yeah, yeah, part. yeah. Like a part. Like a part. Like a part. Like a part. That's what happens. Yeah, yeah. That's the part they will take. And now why you marinate and make why it. Why change you sell their story. Oh my God. Kato wa yoke TikTok. And a whole one hour, that minute, we've been talking about things that can help Kenyans when yes. they move to the US. When, yep. How they can hack that as a nurse to make That is not a story that is interesting. That one is not. I think now I've come to terms with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitambo ni likuwa ni na struggle and I want to explain to people, no, you understand me it wrong. So I'm at this point, where ukitaka tu kuyelewa vayu unataka sasa ni hivu. I think everybody gets there before you get used to it. Even mi kitambo likuwa ni kwa na negative comment, I can DM the guy ni mambi ya bro, maze kwa ni medu. Ati nilifanya tu, no, it's comedy. I was just joking. Come on, mi sinanoma na nani? Nowadays. Ay. Ujipate. Oh, nini, oh, ah, nani amesema by that read the comments it, you have to go through it for you to harden you have to learn that's uh, how we learn you yeah. grow into something so to read comments i rarely do mm. at remember through comments we have a nini i rarely do uh, sometimes my, my psc something he'll send me like hey we have a number oh okay oh we to side is gani mm. ebu mpigie find out okay uh, msaidie chini ya majini we move uh, ama oh we have a sema oh I don't say mini or mini guide. Ah, so we we like I'm used to. Yeah. I'm so used to negative news. When I get positive news, I get shocked. I always tell the people around me. Me, I get even compliments. I'm like, why are you complimenting me? No, una una zaku shi. Eh, nikozile. Why are you why are you being nice to me? Like me ninge mali. Nikuwe tiri vizuri. Nasema wata kuniwa wa. Ah, wana nipangia. I'm not used to that. Me, I'm used to kutukanwa, kuwa rejected, kuwa whatever. And the thing even affects my relationships. When I'm in a relationship and you are good to me, eh. I'm like, ay! Unanza kusikia, it's too good to be true. There must Kuna be something. Kitu. Yes, <laughs> I'm always like, that thing has really messed a lot of my relationship. I'm always like, there is something. Mm. So, ile sana za kuchunguza, kuzi le, we, bu, bu, cheki, amenda, amesema kotao, kuplesula, bu, cheki. Nini, nini, nini. So, it brings that insecurity for, why she's so nice? Mbona hana password kwa simu yake? Because now, before, you know, also people, project the past mm. so before i had someone mm. and alikuwa na simu haiko anga na password mm. so later her friend told me she used to have two phones <gasps> so kulikuwa na simu ya kama kunicheki mm. na yo time kulikuwa na ile i think it was nokia x2 <laughs> ilikuwa ile simu ya kwati keyboard zile za kwanza so alikuwa baka na niachia na cheza na hizo na keyboard nini nini na feel good yes so this was the lady who gave my first heartbreak 
I've spoken about her in so many other interviews. So, me, I was so in love. I was like, there's nothing she can do wrong. But I didn't know there was another phone that I was like, 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 so now when I meet someone, I'm like, why are men not? Mbona huka TV? Another one in a kuanga, kuna two apps watu wana install. Ya kuchat na uo mtu. Alafu kifika kwa nyumba, by the time kwa compound, shai delete me disappear. Kuna ata maapps ina kakama calculator. Uo nona ni calculator nani? Kuna yoyo calculator? Kuna calculator iku hapa nani? Uyo mza na shtuka kuzi. Wee bro, wee baki hapo tupenye huko. Hapo kwa green zone, baki hapo, hame shtuka. Uno na isi mwiko na calculator, lakini hapo ndiyo sasa ndiyo mambo yote. Sasa wajinga ni onya juli zangi kwa nini kuna calculator mbili kwa simu. No, suna delete ile ingine. Awezi delete ya permanent ya simu, unajua. Kwa nuna tumia simu gani ya? Iyo temi nikuwa tumia Android. It's fine, we move. Yeah, so, there's a lot of things that people don't know, and then when they experience them, now your other relationships are based on your past. Yeah. And other people are like, me, I'm not like your exes. And I'm like, yes, you are. You are a woman. I was not dating men. Uh -huh. So you are a woman. I've been here with a woman before. I've seen. Mm -hmm. It's like I always tell people, let's talk kidogo to before we wrap up. Poleni, mm -hmm. about gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. I speak about it a lot because it happens and most people don't see it coming. Yeah. And I've been there, other people have been there, but they didn't see it. Mbaka ikawapata. Mbaka wana black eye, nini uko sipitali, no. No, but he still loves me. Oh, she still does. No. Like the minute someone shouts at you, start kukua rada. Because in answer, ah, nini, 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 nini. Then, then mjinga nini. Then pumbavu. The first time atakushtua. Nini, nini, nini. Second time atayleta mbaka hapa. That time, pat. So people never see, but if you've been in it, you start seeing the signs. Mm. So me nowadays, when I'm with someone like this, you raise your voice. I'm, hey, I'm out. Like, because why are you raising your voice? We're grown-ups. Yeah. Like, just talk. But the, me, I don't even shout on my kids. And they know, we don't shout in yeah. my house. My mm. kids know me and them. Mm. Can me sometimes I shout, especially with my boys. Most women do that. Oh, Most women shout a lot. That one I've, I've seen, even single mothers, mm. even my mom. Mm. When I shout and then they don't execute the threat. Yeah. So children are mezoya. Mama na shouting, that's why na patangu ta shout. But na meyantu, nambia baba inyu. Patoto wana. Because dad really... Given act of services. Unawasha mtu wako mkono? Eh, na kuna sink. Yo ni traditional sana. I'm, I'm a typical traditional girl, but not that much. Okay. No, I but I was telling you, I used to, I was married at Nikyo 18. Yeah. I used to be a housewife for like two years. You two years, nilikuwa nakani kifikiria wa yentandekeza mwana umewangu. You know, mikuwanda nilianza kumdate, I started immediately doing wifey duties and I have no regrets. Nafika, akifika, tumesha ingia pa moja saa kuanza kushipa moja. Ata ingie jioni, ni mkimbile kwa mlango, ni chukue jacket, na kableza, ni shaa pika sasa, by six, chakule kwa ready. Sasa ni afike, ni shaika kama maji kwa hita, sasa ni eke kwa karae, ni mdip tumigu, ni kwa natuka masajo, ni ingie kwa mkongo sasa. Sasa, na lafu ya likuwa na jua mamboya mapenzi, mapenzi na R&B, ana ngekea R&B zile mpua, sana masaji hivi, aftu na kula. Aftu naenda kanata, kanata amba, asubui ni amke tena. I'm telling you. Hey. Yes, Mimi am a typical old What are stories are jabba? These wewe. stories are jabba. Ah, una tu beba. Ah, una tu beba. Even some of my followers can tell you. Majimoto. You mean lianza create content kitambota before you Hiyo ilikuwa ni content. Si content. Majimoto ana deep mguu alafu massage linakuja kwa shoulder. Yes, kwanza hata hiyo time sasa siko na create content. Ah, wewe waacha me. Ah, mimi muna mimi ni story. He can tell you for sure. Usifanye nimpigie simu. Unajua namjua. Hata saa hizi mpigie, umuulize. Yeah, una do I easy danganya at some make with fair points. Aizi, sister is a jabba. Hey boom pigia to mulize story, baby. Two em. Yeah, mwa mush. Mwa mush is now ara eh. But imagine I used to For real. Ah, yani na kai vina shanga sana tam de keza aje leo. I used just to think of ideas. Me and love nikipenda mtu, I can be very submissive. Una do come up in the time patana i meshika aje. Yani na fika na mwambia tunde sako pa mwaji to meshikana mikono. Young love wewe. Now that we're talking about love. Have you ever even experienced real love? Me ni me experience real love. Kuzi aguna real love. Mimi kweke abu kwa majimu. Don't worry, sorry. Agalia. Ni mungu. God, God is, you know, mungu. Ati kumasaji wa shoulder na. Oh my, oni atu kwa izi ni ni. 
do you know there's a time <laughs> I dated someone I think from 2018 until 2020 mm. okay I was in love with someone Hey. I think I like pick here once. Mm. Once. Not a siku show kama lipika, alisema ameipika. But siku I mwana kipika hivi ati kunipikia whatever. They, me I love food, me I live to eat. Yeah. You know, nilifanya sana so intermittent fasting. Me me my love messages. <laughs> okay, to me not for me. Yeah. For me giving is different. Yeah. For me receiving food. The food. More food. <laughs> <laughs> Another food. Yeah. Like now if I get to the house chai, yeah. na piga chai satisa before ninge kwa bed, naenda kupiga tu chai ya maziwa fit. Yes, yes. Okay. Now that's me. So food and then words of affirmation, physical touch of course, mm. you know. Basa umeka na umse sasa apikangi. Sasa unajua hapo kidogo. Anashina kwa baby tuna order wapi? No, hata house help akipika ndio, lakini Oh, see, at I, least I, you baby to know that wapi. No, 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 oh. no. But me, I always love you when you know when someone cooks for you. Mm. There's a there's an emotional connection to yeah. it. There's a way they cook, and then I'm a joke to me penda. There's a way I'm a tengeneza. Then I'm according to in a talk of cooling. Yes. See that? I think that is uh, how my second baby mama won me over. Ah. Kwa na karanga gideringi ne apu kwa nyumba ya mabati. Baku kapati ya watu watatu. Ah, moja watatu mgani. Oh. My second baby mama. That's Mama Brianna. Hey, na karanganga watatu si wengi. Zima hiyo kitu. Ni kani pia hujafanya homework. Wewe una crush ya watu hapa ujua ni watu ni wabaya. Utapewa mtoto. Sisi utapewa mtoto hapa kimchezo mchezo. Usiki tu oh you I thought it was joke na yeah who's laughing now. Hey, overworking. Not overworking we are three baby mamas. Wewe kuna tatu ngapi? Wawili. Mimi niko na Waine. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Mimi naonanga kale kenye ni very vocal and outspoken. Uh, Lola the last one. Then I know you sana kuna kale ka pole pole hivi kidogo. Yes. Kuna dark skin? I don't know. Pole, kuna then kuna child. ada. <gasps> hey. Yes, niko na katoto kamoja ka light skin. My crush has ended. Juu ya watoto. Baby mama angekuwa mmoja. How do I deal with four baby mamas? Sasa unajua advantage ni baby daddy sisi atubebangi mimba. <laughs> Sasa muda ni zako na baby mama kumi lakini si nda libeba. <laughs> yeah, wewe ndo sasa ningejua uko na baby daddy kama waine, you know waine ama hata wawili. Na kwa tricky but you've been consistent. Eh yeah, umesema ulikuwa huko alafu katraka kidogo. Mm yuko. Ni obari is fine. It doesn't, you know. So breathe. Okay. Breathe. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure by this one mefanya homework. I always thought like it's one baby mama and then you guys were married for like couple of years and then did mm. work and then you decided to take your child and live. No. First of all, I've never been married. Hey, you crush wangu anaendelea kuangusha points. Why does you angus the points? Demi yangu asitupige mimi na wewe. Yeah, so uh yeah, that's it basically. I have four kids, mm. three baby mamas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you get baby mama dramas with any of them? <laughs> I think you better go do your homework. <laughs> yeah. Say that one. Eh. Oh, unataka kuna kama uko safe? No, 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 uko safe, uko safe. Hakuna nini. I don't do those things with baby mamas anymore. Oh, okay. Mm. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, anyway. Moving on swiftly. Yeah, let's move on hey. Moving on. <laughs> now, let's come back to I think the second last thing I want to talk about today. The thing for social space, social media has made things not what they seem. Mm -hmm. You go online, you're a good person, but you get trolled negatively and it affects people differently. So for you, how have you been dealing with negative trolls? Mm -hmm. Have you been coming through it? Because I've seen you've had your fair share of eh. negative publicity. Unamuka hivu unajipatu umeweko huko na mastori zingine moro moro. Yeah. Initially, especially, when just Mika the first time, because me ndi wata nianze kukua na julikane, it's beti kia lalifanya ni julikane. Yeah. Na hiyo temi nikapata so much love. Ata nikia kwa kwa blogs walikuwa na hiyo ika vizuri, the beauty and brain nurse who are taking care, you know. Alifuna ika picha mzuri, mzuri ya po kisema mambu matamu matamu. Hey. Little did you know. Little did you know something was gonna happen. Punde si punde. Boom. Dindin din don don don. Sururu don don. Eh eh wakakupata off guard. Ai wakanipata off. Scandal. Scandal kanipata hapo aki unapatiwa ma backlash ma attacks ma nini mpaka unashangaa. Hey, husbands noja. 
Wewe unaitwa ma- ma- Asha wo. <laughs> <laughs> you called names like you been mpaka unaka unashanga. And then sasa your time sasa it was like for the first time since your experience. Una just come deal deal nayo ka by this time. Mimi sha deal deal nayo hata na mka anapata siju amesema ni something that i don't even follow when there are some pages yenye niliona frequently wanashinda ukianika vitu negative about me i just blocked it so that i don't get to see it nilikuwa nashinda hapo nikienda kuangalia saa tena leo amesema nikaona niki consume nikisoma hiyo comment na na sikia na i'm running mad yeah. so nika come i think kuna time beti kelo nilionanga ameulizwa how she deals with it hapo ndio nikaboro ndio akasema Yeah yeah what she does she doesn't consume like what blogs wanaandika and she doesn't even read the comment section cuz ni kuja ku realize hiyo comment section naweza kuwa nimeamka in a good mood akio bina utaenda tu hata si comments mbili ama tatu utasoma tu kama moja kata kwa rigia kuna tu kama moja kana kudunga kana kudunga hivi unaifikiria the whole alafu na click profile msio unaangalia hiki ni yangao hii yangao unaona kimtu kama haya kwa kuandikia huko ni tafute huyu mtu akue kama example. Sema. <laughs> Alafu na kwamba tu kitu fulani utakuwa na comments 50. Eh. Na sijudi beautiful eh, beautiful. But come. Uko like we. Na kuwasha. Yaani kana kuweka mpaka unasikia eh eh. It can. So at some point nilikuwa na consume sana naenda naangalia naangalia. Nika realize this thing will make me suicidal. Yeah, I'm a very happy person. Nika realize hiki kitu na consume naanza ku feel like there's this negative energy within me all the time because I'm consuming sana. Yeah. Especially this particular blog in Insta sema tena wasianze kunianzia tena. But eh hey, that blog can be very toxic. So nika unfollow, nika make sure like nika andika watu wacha kunitumia screenshot because now what they are very good in. Okay na tu kitu mimi kwa. Bwana kimbia screenshot. Yeah. Cool. Na kutumia. Na kutumia. And actually by the way these days people don't send me No you have to stop them. Na ulikuwa unapata hata sasa ngini marafiki wako wanakutumia. Marafiki ndio wanatumanga you stop them. Tell them if you see anything negative please. Yeah, don't send me. So if I you see positive. Yeah. Eh, positive of yeah, course send yeah. me. And they stopped actually. They don't send me. So I don't go myself looking for them and they yeah. don't send me. So I don't see it. So most of the time I don't even know like sasa kasa hii mimi hata sijui like kama wananichukia. So utapata hata ni mtu maybe like amenitumia DM positive au uh, unapata ameka like something like oh i'm just from watching like your interview with mungai if you're so authentic you're so real i have even loved you more i don't even know why people hate you sasa hapo ndio nitajulia lazima basi kuna watu wanasema vitu negative ndio maana ameka hiyo comment hiyo uh, you see but mi sitaenda kuangalia watu wanasema nini because i know your comment you section has it, mixed reactions you find it yeah okay my last question mm. how do you manage to be this happy is is this real am i is it a facade very real because there are people who have seen who are very jolly mm. on cameras but off the camera they're like broken and mimi yani hata watu wanaweza kuambia me i'm always very happy mpaka saa zingine najishangaa kwa ni me i'm a smiling machine like can, can always be smiling mpaka nashangaa nitachoka muscles How i'm usually a very happy person naturally you was born like that oh, is i have just... a positive mindset always and even when things are not working because yeah. like hiyo mwaka i was going through a lot of things but i used to keep like Yes kuna times inanipata and the thing about me kama kitu inanisumbua I'll cry about it you know in sana once i cry i just go back to my normal self so kama hiyo oh. mwaka ni last year when was those things happening i was going through hizo ma vitu za online kios ma scando marriage imeisha nimefika maju sina makaratasi nimerushwa nje na rafiki mwenye ni host me i was just going through a lot but still mimi i was i kept going i was still happy on some days some days i would cry of course and on most days i was still happy so you are reboot is crying when you let it out it goes yeah it goes like unasema ulifukuzwa yenye na friend alikuwa anakuhost how if you are this bubbly mona alikufukuza so that this is what happens in america na hiyo kitu ni kama explain tena when you go to america sana sana watu wanataka wakutumie kama nannies ama house girl umesikia hiyo kitu lazima so kukosa na yetu ilikujiana kuza kuna mtu hii venye nilifika for 3 weeks nilikuwa okay na kumwangalia mtu hii kosiko na job nafanya But sasa venye nilianza kufanya job, alafu mimi unajua sana nimekwambia niko greedy for money. Napata na work like six days or seven days. So ile time yenye nimefika home, hiyo ka one day nimejibakishia ubina nataka kulala. But huyu demo atakaa ni babysitie. Mtoto alikuwa old. Alikuwa kitu kama one year. So kama mtoto wewe. So unapata ni nataka kulala. Lakini <laughs> lakini sasa hata saa zingine hata haniulizi. Automatically anaiyeka, anajua like I'm coming for my off cuz niko nafanya job place kama kwa hizo group homes yeah. so which means nalala huko for like six days so the seventh day ndio unakuja huku kwake 
sasa ni off yangu so ninataka nikuje at least nilale the whole day the whole night but unapata sasa nitafika hivi kama ametoka na amenikea mtoto kwa room ya baby seat so siku moja mimi nikafeel like i really want to rest na nilikuwa nimesema nitaenda ku rest kwa boyfriend yangu so ni kama amenena driving classes sitaweza ku baby seat ya but i knew i wanted to go and sleep at my boyfriend's i just rest akaniambia oh sasa kisi you change nini because hata siko nimetafuta mtu wa kunini eh kaambia ki lazima mimi si change hiyo nini driving class akachukua anga simu akaanza kwenda kupiga kwa simu hata akungojea nitoke kwa nyumba i think alikuwa atakanisikia akasema oh i wish ningekuwa na kana mtu mwenye tunaelewana kusaidiana mtoto sijui ni akisema yani vitu ni kama ananikatakata maneno so ndio ni career life ni kama ameshikwa na hiyo kind entitlement kama mimi ni baby sitie saka mm. clash yetu tulianzanga hapo tu vitu tudogo tudogo kaanza madharau nini nini venye tu nakataa ku baby sitia sana yaka anza ile venye tulikuwa na hiyo friendship tight ikaanzanga ku Okay. So tu vitu tudogo tu unaona tu jusa nyumba ni yake uta notice mtu tu akifanyia madharau like anakataa kunitoshea kifunguo ni winter i mean siyaro it's always like snowing nimefika nimetoka job niko hapo nimekaa nje nimekaa like one hour nifungulia anasema ako job na, sasa sina kifunguo cuz i'm supposed to nifike hapo ni dial anifungulia na simu cuz yani yako na kifunguo na yako na code Ai mimi nikaona ni matiso kwa mingi sana. So siku moja nikaenanga tu kwa WhatsApp sasa nikaanika tu when I'm going through a lot na miss like the way before I moved to America. Cuz by the time I moved to America, sema kwa mimi nilikuwa nimebaki kama Mazda Demi, kama maisha kalikuwa kama jipa. Yeah. And then at some point when my husband was promoted, he was given a company car. So he gave me our good family car which is bigger and nice. Yeah. So nilikuwa na feel like nikaa nimetoka from a point I was already driving a good car and then in TZ pia kwenye like uh, my husband anafanya job we were given like a nice house in a posh area so ile time yenye nimetoka kwa marriage i was already living a good life driving a good car so tena nimekuja in america i'm starting from a fresh sina gari ninaishi na mtu nimeanza kuonesha madharau so nikaanza ku feel your frustration and me sometimes ni mtu anapenda ku express nikaandika nga hivyo why kuandika tu about how i'm expressing myself ile na skip ali ni tukana the following week sijui ni nini tena hata ili happen it was a mega fight alinekea vitu kwa trash bag na kaniambia nizikuzie within 30 minutes and i used to pay si eti alikuwa host free ni mnatafuta nyumba mnakosha equally nothing for free in america si eti utakuja ubira na udhani ya tunataka kwa eh should we were friends for over 15 years ah rafiki kavunjika hivyo na si eti ni mimi ninafanywa tu hivyo ukiuliza kenya so many kenyans wamefanywa the same thing i don't know what happens to kenyans wakifika huko Ukiena kwa Kenyan community by the way siku moja wa muende US kufanya interviews kwa Kenya. Utasikia mastery. Amepitia. Ah. Amepitia. Kenyans in America I'm coming your way with Obina show live we have yeah. to share the stories Please. of how Kenyans are making other I'll Kenyans host suffer. You. And I'll not throw you out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Aya. Mambo imejemuka. <laughs> well, it seems like we're going to be doing this interview next week. Umeza <laughs> mnarudi when? <laughs> so <a> February to come at you. <laughs> but I've heard of those stories. Mm. But I know even of friends who have been there and they've been kicked out. Mhm. Mm I remember there's a time I was supposed to go do a tour in the states. Yeah. So someone was inviting us and then akatwambia tutakuwa na lala kwake. That's how I never even applied for the visa. Then I was like mimi nitoke hapa naenda kulala kwa mtu because I know I've lived with people most most of my life here. Yeah. Then also people have lived in my house. Mm. And I've seen the way I've been treating people's houses. Ila yeah. tumeka hivi una watch TV, unaambia tunataka kulala. Sasa zima TV pia wewe ndulale. <laughs> In my head I'm like just go sleep. Because me me come say I'm a movie. I love watching movies. Yeah. I'm like I want to watch <laughs> go sleep and leave me. What does your sleep have to do with <laughs> my sleep? Tuna <laughs> lala sisi wote sasa exactly. enda tu. I'm like then unaosha vyombo, una baby seat yoko. I think that's where I started like liking children. Mm -hmm. Niyo kucheza cheza na watoto nilianza kitabu. Wewe kidudu. Mtoto yako hapo mama yake amechoka na baba yake amechoka ndo ni wewe. Eh. Kupanguza mtoto, kupika, kutumwa, kufanya nini like I've been eh. I've seen it. Then I started picturing so mimi nina America. Eh. Mtu anza kunifanyia hizi vitu. Hata go, go play with uncle. Obina, mtoto anataka kucheza. <laughs> go go play with the child outside. Juni kwa nyumba ya mtu. I said hell no. I'm not going nowhere. That is how I never set foot in the state. My other friends went applying in they've done I've seen them in other people's houses. Wame kwa na scandals. Me like if I'm coming to the states, I'm coming to a hotel. I can come visit you ni kuone tuonge tufanye nini I'll say hi to the kids whatever one two hours nini go Will back to my hotel. You keep up with the hourly not hourly the daily rates the hotels. 
No, it depends. I'm a winner now. Come on. Hey. Really? Okay. There's a shinda kulip hotel is a issue. Okay, Ni kam, so I'm coming to work. I'm not yeah. coming. Or if I'm coming for holidays, see a plan. Yeah. Me, I don't just do things for I know okay. I'm going here mm. for two weeks or one week. Mm. I'll sleep here. I'll do whatever if it's Airbnb or whatever. I'll yeah. figure it out. Mm. But I don't want to live in someone's sitting room. Ni me lala kwa kitu ni me jikunja kwa recliner. My friend, do you know where? Do you know my bed? Ni me napenda kita na yangu na vanyemi ni kona maringo. I was like, where? Can never be used. So I've I've seen it happen. Mm -hmm. I've had it happen, and I'm always just thinking, why are people very unkind? Come and ni bills. Diyo But who will come and 50-50? So it's not like your liability. Yeah. Okay. What we're gonna have to do is go to the bank because I'm not liability. I'm kuchoka. But for me, sasa una patanga. It it can be two scenarios. Yeah. Either I'm to me kuchoka because I'm not changi. Yeah. So I know where I'm now. We're just happy about doing it. They are hard to host. So CZ like at least generalized to say many host whatever we're buying. So in some cases ni mwenye na host pia ni mbaya na in some cases ni guest uje host mtu kapata nataka kukaa kwa couch the whole day hachangii chakula fanyi kazi ya nyumba asaidi na anything mimi hayo host mtu alikuwa analala kwa kitanda yangu yani unarudi na pata relax kwa bed like you know, kuna watu wenye wajibu <laughs> sasa mimi niko pale mimi yote ndio ninaosha bado tunalipa 50 50 I'm cleaning the house. Me, because I love my my space very organized and clean. And then I was living with the person who was totally opposite. Yeah. And then he kijaribu kumambia we. Oh, see, to kijaribu to eke nyumbaya to clean and organize. Na kwa mbeni litetemesho na maneno hivi obina. Tafuta kwako. Eh, liniambia utaniambia kia ntafanya kwa nyumbaya angu. Yeah. Hei, ndio nika join in nyumbaya yako. Na tuka 50-50, how is it your house? Yeah, yeah, na kona papers. Yeah, that's the thing. Social security number ni anani. Yeah, okay. Very good. Sosa wewe, fagia kauchi yako. Bebeleza mtoto, chukua mtoto. You know, go go walk the baby. You say, ngeuza ka uwa dog walk hapo. Yeah. It can be challenging though. Talk to a single lady who is a mother and probably is in a long distance relationship mm. they are here a single lady but is in a long distance relationship no 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 a single mother oh. a mother let me yeah, say a single that... uh, no what i mean is ako kwa relationship <laughs> ako relationship ako na mtoto <laughs> lakini ya kumbali nsema na kizungu wewe unajua kwanza kizungu ndio ilikuwa anga shida kwa ah kwani unajaniuliza hiyo story eh Yeah. Kizungu imekuramba? Let me tell you. Eh? Mimi growing up, unajua nimesomea shule inaitwa aje? Kariandusi. Au. Oh. Ilikuwa ya matope obina. Tulikuwa tunafunzwa na walimu wa Kikuyu. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Vegio Thamos. Wewe ni Vegio Thamos? Nyoko wako wapi? Nyoko wako. Eh? Yaani mimi by the way, I struggled with English for so long. Nimekuja kujua jua English juzi juzi. Na bado jana kuna na mapua. Aya so si na msiaro. The water. <laughs> in California. I live in California. <laughs> Mimi kwa that accent bado inanikata. But nitai force mpaka ingie. I'm a forcer. <laughs> I'm even surprised you don't have it like. Me I don't have it. Yeah. But nikikuwa hosi ni venye nikikuwa hosi nikiongea na wao cuz they pretend or actually they actually don't understand tukiongea na accent yetu. The way it's very crisp. Sometimes when I say okay there are some people who will actually even tell you oh I love your accent where is your accent from watakwambia hivyo. But sasa kuna wale wenye watajifanya hata wa kuunderstand ukiongea na accent yako. So sometimes ni na twist sana nikiwa pale but when I come back mimi na switch back to nini. The your thamos. Eh juu sasa ah hii mambo ya ugoro masiaro mabora sasa zingine ah ah. Nasikia ni kama But ni ukweli mimi nilikuwa na juu tulizo nilisomea Kariandusi ilikuwa ka shule tu hivyo 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 tu alafu nikamaliza nikaletwa at least Nairobi nikajaribu jaribu na pia bwana wangu amesaidia sana pia na English is very good in English Hayongea ngi sana si mjal Sano nyango. Of course. What do you mean? Why are you asking? Kuna tayari specials. Nikiandika CV ama nikiandika lazima tu ningemtumia nimuulize hiyo English iko sawa. I struggled. Ana kwambia no 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 change here. Yeah. But kidogo ina ni nasa kwa sawa. No sai nimesikia umejaribu. Eh ubino nimesema nimejaribu am okay. Okay, you are okay. Can you tell me good compliments? Okay, you are okay. Do you feel good now? Tell me better. <laughs> wewe unajua umeolewa wewe? Oh okay. Haya. Unajua sema wenyewe sumu. <laughs> Ukisema hivyo sasa utapata kisha nimeandikiwa vitu zingine. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mimi hapa unajua that is when interviews are Oh my god that whole interview opinion was just flirting with the guest. You like I was just being kind. You uh, come and say hey by the way you're nice I like your smile. Oh wow. You're just flirting with it. Oh my god. 
So like, don't talk about the smile, don't talk about the eyes, don't talk about nothing. You look nice, then generalize, then continue with the conversation. So we are working on the eggshells. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of things I could have said, but I've not said. So you oh, assume so you know them. Thank you. Okay. okay. Very good. We move. Thank <laughs> yeah? you. Why are you? Okay. <laughs> now, okay, now, mama. You told me a single mother who is in a distance. Uh, no, yeah. Talk no. to a woman who is in a long distance relationship with a kid. Yes. Oh, okay. Now this is what I'll say. Actually, by the way, because I talk to so many of them in my DMs. It can be very hard, but it's doable, and you can try to make it intentional. Especially kama make sure you're calling them like every day, at least even like twice a day. Uh, make sure you follow up na vitu kama homeworks ata ukiwa mbali. Make sure like you are talking to them. Like me, my girl now again I say, mpaka sa zingine muliza kama like wamefika kujua vitu za periods. Cause taki ni miss your stage at just because I'm doing long distance relationship. I engage her in conversation digitally. Ata kama tuiko in person. Na feel kama ni the same tu atakama ni in person. The same yeah. way tu ni in person. The same way I do it sasa kwa over the phone. So na make sure kwanza the more ni long distance, the more I try to engage in their lives more through Ninika. Like especially my daughter, I am FK age to member here simu. So we are constantly always talking. Junataka ni ambie directly. Staki ambie at like house girl. Ama maybe sazini atashindo kuambia house girl. Nataka ni ambie me directly. So if actually kama ni mtu aneza tumia simu, talk to them always. Engage them. Uwaulize kunaenda aje. Look at kuna time nilikuja ku realize, ku realize my, my daughter was struggling with bullying in school na singejua like kama singekuwa na engage kwa vitu zingine yeah, yeah. but unaona kama ungekuwa in person unaweza notice but sasa ukiwa long distance hadi ujaribu ku like wa prompt na maswali ya manini so you can still be present even when you're far away wengine wako stuck especially in america i know so many mothers who are stuck there kwa sababu hawana makaratasi ya kuja kuona maybe mtu hajaona watoto wao for like 5 6 years you know it's hard but because if you come back it's a wrap process. yeah keep trusting the process and don't beat yourself too hard because it's a sacrifice you're doing for them to give them a good life you know so let me also add to the to the mothers mm -hmm. we have a lot of parents who are present mm -hmm. around their children mm -hmm. but they're very distant yeah. in connection uh -huh. and we have parents who are not present mm -hmm in the proximity yeah but they're very close mm. so be intentional the word is that you know what wana kana watoto wanaishinao kwa nyumba hivi najui mtoto analewanga mtoto anakuwa bullied shule mm -hmm. mtoto amemolestiwa yeah. mtoto anafanywa nini na house help ajui but i'm saying that baba uko kwa ni kopo anaendelea like they don't even care mm -hmm. so try and me ah, yeah. especially you engaging in conversation nimekuja yeah. kuelewa like nika inasaidia ku learn about my daughter na vitu anago through sana yes yeah it does mm. by the way when you make them your friends mm. they tell you things sometimes you're like yeah yeah stakieta ogope kuniambia like kuna ka crush like this is vitu they used to happen they to happen. us there's a time i was yeah. in primary and they used to have a crush i want her to be able to tell me that true so don't give advice stranger. yes it's okay maybe to have a crush but make sure this is the, and this you know this, this happens mm, yeah. if this is not happening or this you know make sure he is not asking you for this or he's not touching you you took guys or start a conversation in anzi hapo na patata time yako ku have a conversation that we are supposed to be having with them yeah mm. now talk to husbands or boyfriends mm. long distance Long distance. I'm going to share. Because I'm long distance will never work. Like, personally, I'm, I'm a bit skeptical. Do you skeptical. think we're going to go to Yanga? See, we're doing how. We're going to go to Yanga. I talk generally. What a, no, no, no. Generally, it's hard because now we will we will assume a lot of things. This yeah. is what I always say. Mm. If someone loves you, they'll wait for you. Mm. If they don't love you, I'll talk to you. My friend, in Akuramba too polite. Obina is not that. Uh, you can love someone and still, like, Unaza Pata, like, like, even when the husbands or boyfriends cheat, Unaza Pata see it and a cheat because Ababu they don't love their wives. So it's not really about Atikama, they don't love you there. No, cheating has nothing to do with love, actually. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because even you may say, if they love you, they will wait for you. No, you know, we have, we have love in different categories. There's love that comes with respect. Mm. There's love that comes without respect. There's love that comes with fear. There's love that comes with sacrifice. Mm. There's different forms of yeah. love. Instead of coming to pain, die to death, but they will still cheat. Mm. It has nothing to do with you, and it does not mean they love you any less. Yeah. But there's someone who, when they love you, mm. 
Hakuna hata mtu hata atamsalimia. Hata mtaki msalimia, babe, mbona wewe ananisalimia? Ananisalimia. <laughs> eh, hey, mbaka wewe ananuka. Yeah. Just everybody retests you. Mm. So we also have that. And then you have the people when they love you now, mm. they fear you. Mm. And we have people when they love you, they respect you. Mm. And we have people when they love you, they worship you. Mm. So loving and cheating mm. has nothing to do. Mm. So the one I meant was the one for the respect and ile value. Mbaka na feel, eh, mimi, mi nangoja tu. Unaona wale nyo wanapenanga, sama, I'm saving myself for this person. Kuna hiyo love. But kuna hile love, yeah, this is my person, yes. Lakini mi ni kipata. It's like when BN said with Chiki. It's like, we love each other, but if Chiki meets a crush, whatever. Aya. And I will not judge. Yeah, be it trended for a while. And it was easy. Like him is like if she meets a crush. Ooh, their relationship is nice. Yeah, but it's gotten to the, that point. It gets to that point where you're like, I know I don't own a person. Mm. But before you get to that point, it's it's tricky. So for example, ladies, you, you are doing long distance. Wewe umesema yako ni madildo. Kuna dem mwingine mwenye yeye haezi operate na mashini. Atatafuta mtu. Kuna mtu huko lakini amependa mtu mwenye kwa hapa. Huyo ndo mtu wake. Eh. But kuna mseo huko mwenye and as I'm service. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So it happens. So even for men, mm. I wouldn't say that every man will wait for you, mm. but there are some who will wait. Same as women. Not every man will wait for you. So and some will. Kungoja, mm. long distance. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ina tegemea. Unaitaji dozi yako how often? Six months. Bona uniamini. Bona umegeuza interview imekuwa ni yangu. We are not interviewing me. You are supposed to talk to men. Anyway, so men like who are in long distance. Why? Uh Wambi wa kai strong. Stay strong brother. That's the only thing I can say. Nikubaya. Eh lakini mnajaribu. Yeah. They are trying. Honestly, me, I don't have anything to say to the man. Like, what can I even say? Do you believe mtu wako wana kungoja? Me personally? Yeah. You think so? Why is that a week here? Okay, like, okay, it's a week. Well, I don't know. Unajo, okay, to say maybe. Maybe anaiza kuwa. Mr. Kiko, unajo anaiza say maivu alafu wajitokeze ni kuwe mbarazi. Tupate risi. So what do you mean? Wait a minute. Eh, useme, oh, aliko na ringa kwa interview. Yeah. Sikuizi unazapata shock. So, I don't know, but... It could be, it could be a yes or no. I don't miss is yongelelea mwana binadam not not just mwana but binadam You find your man cheating on you would you break up the relationship? See he as, if I if I could If you find your man cheating on you would you break up the relationship? No I, I, I it has happened before and I never did. Okay. Yeah. Like Unajua especially kwanza this man mwenye anaweza ku cheat na bado he still doing his duty he still loving you the same. Unajua kuna mwana mume wa ku cheat na alafu sasa anaenda kukuongelelea vibaya kwa side chiku wake ama anaenda anakosa kurudi hata siku mbili ama yani anakufanyia madharau ama love inaisha ama anaanza ku treat vibaya. And then mm-hmm. kuna this other type mwenye ata cheat lakini bado anakupenda bado anakuja home on time bado ana take care of the family and I think that's that's his type. Like he will still come and play with the kids. He will still. When it happened, not now. Okay. Everybody reformed. What's your deal breaker? My deal breaker. Hey, me. I think my deal breaker ni mana ume mwenye sasa. Okay. Kuna hi scenario yenye like maybe mtu ame lose job and they are doing something about it. And then now there's this one other one mwenye like. Maybe I'm a lose job. I'm a biashara imenini. I love what I'm doing. Like now they're never even going to do something about it. And then now it's been a long time. So no. basically lazy man. A lazy man. And I met one when I was single. Hey. <laughs> Nika Alikuwa nandu? Yo te, yo ndo te mdo nikajua kumbi yo ndo deal breaker yangu actually. Alikuwa nafanya? Kwanza un... Maju ama hapa? Uko maju. Yo te mdo tume separate maju. Kwanza unajua. A lazy black American. Kwanza kwa nakimbizo na polisi? <laughs> hey. You see what I did there like? Ah watu wanaweza kuonesha mambo. Alikuwa na ngedhi tu. Ana sasa kwanza alafu akajua mimi nina sasa anajua sasa. Alikuwa anapata do. Kuna ulikuwa umeweka. Siko na oh mimi sizi kama mtu. But na cannot hizo ndio nini yenye nataka kuchukua. So mimi nikajitoa. But si uliweka nani? Baha. Kwenda huko. I saw the story. Well, I know I, I was even, not even going to ask you, about it. You even you even did your video trying to mend things. Yeah. Yeah. I always trying to make make Peace. amends with people. Yeah, I'm always trying to 
If I find people have beef, I'm like, why? Let's just, but. Sangine yeah. ramba sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I try to put some people on. I'm like, um, say, I should say, I introduce them to this person. Mm -hmm. When Gino and Nena are disappointed, just like, I should have just decided to mind my business. But nilikuwa na uko. Na umasema, where's your mutu? Eh, what happened? Your time, actually, by the way, on your time, this guy, I'll follow the same day. I love for like pictures. I'm mingi ni kasi sa sa umtrom dogo. I kona crush on me or what's happening? Cause like twenty pictures you're liking, and you're just a small boy. Me, I'm an old woman. So it's kind of queer. Anyway, I'll like pictures. I'm mingi. I love for follow. The next thing was to DM me. So when I'll DM, I'll be like high seas. At least ni kajua si ni kuni katia na ni katia. Cause I'll answer na high seas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. is. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Inabaki is. Yeah. But this is me. What made actually? Juni kwa nime fikanga point. Isi vitu za kutumia watu pesa zime kwa ziki ramba sana. So ni ulikuwa nisema actually I will never. Kwa nime vitu za stranger pia kushinda ki kudanganya na long sad stories. You know. Sa zinye zina kuanga tu kuku manipulate. It's not even real. So ni kasemanga nitaacha kukua msamaria muema. Because at the end of the day anyway. Kuna watu nki wakona shida. Nasita zata kuwasaidia wote. Especially I'm sure in the social media space you get that a lot too. Every day unamuka kila mtu wana kuambia. Oh sina rent. Mingye ni school fees. So utasaidia nani uwache nani. So I decided because sita heza kusaidia wa watu wote mwenye ni rent. Mwenye ni mtoto mgonja mwenye ni nini. Okay kuna sinari unangalia nga lafu like there is enough. Kabisa receipt ya like mwiku saidia na saidia. Yenye kabisa inaka. Izi vitu za rent nini. Sisaidia nki cause. Ata mimi na kumuka at some point, nili have mpaka kuchukua diapers, nizungushe. So kama kwa na mikono mbili, enda ato washe nguu upate pesa. Iki tu ya atio, unaka unaniambia unilulus jobs due to months ago, it's been hard for you. Ata miku na times kwa na job, ubine ni kwa na zungusha diaper kwa jua. Na enda kwa soko, watu wanashika, juu nilianza kufika point, mtu wanashindo kubai the whole park. So ni kadisai, wacha nifungwe park, ni uze basi at least ka moja ka moja. Unenda kwa soko, wa mama wanakushikia na makawa, wanakuambia, ay, isi sudhani ni material poa. Daipa yiko na material. Eh, siku na huggies. Na sijui nini material yake, sijui ni better than, sijui gani. Saa kwanza sijui nilikuwa na uza kampuni gani. Ile inapata msusu within wana wime soku vibaya. Menona. But I was trying to hiyo. Mehang. Yeah. So, yani mi ni metry kuhasa wata hile time yesi na do. I want people to do the same. Like, kama ni ununua unga, upike mandazi, wende uuze. Because, kila mtu kwa na mashida zake. Ata mimi at this point, even when I'm making money, I have now bigger problems. You know, napata niko na project nafanya na I'm short of like $10,000. So, kila mtu wako na mashida zake on different levels. So, sa zingine nilifika point niko na sizi za kusaidia kila mtu. So, hiku kuwa msamari ya mwema nikaacha. But sasa yeye vinya lini kujia na plus ako in the limelight. Siku wanaona vinya neza katata na pesa yangu anyway. Na alafu... Oh, it was alone. Alikuwa meni kujia at first ni mpatia sijua I think $800. I don't remember but it was a amount yenye ilikuwa mob. Either $800 or something. So mi nikamambia because nilifikanga ile poe nikasema kama ni kulonia mtu pesa, I want to loan something that, najua even if haita rudi, ni sawa. So nikamambia, you know what, mi sitaeza kukulonia yu pesa inyo nataka, but naeza kulonia kitu kama 200. Ilikuwa 200 lama 150, miata nimesawa hizo figures. Nikamambia naeza kulonia 150. Ndiaka ni bembeleza. Akanza kuniambia usi unajua mi ni orphan, mi ama dad, ni kona mtoto, hata sijui sijaliba red, mtoto hana chakula ya kesh. Wajua mtoto kujana hizo sad story. And then also, when you have gone through problems, you tend to empathize a lot. Because unanza kujia kanga immediately kwa, like those times you have gone such through things. Because unajua kuna time kasi tumepitia masinario ska hizo, like tunafika point mpaka tumenda kukopa kwa duka, you know. So ni kiimagine hivo, Nika mfeel, naka niambia kuna deal ya brand haja lipo ndia nagoja. Na nika jopia mi at some point kuna brand nikuwa nagoja ni lipe. So nika relate tu na vitu wana niambia. Na pia mi ni offer. So, akisema hizo vitu zina ni touch. But sasa pahali aria ribu, nika fika point juwa vya mbeleza nika muambia. Ata basi yo 150 nita kupea na usirudishe ata. Lakini staiza kupati yo 800. Guy, the boy kept calling. Nimetoka night shift obina nimechoka. Yo siku kwanza nikuwa nimea ribu wa siku na patient kwa sabi ya venya likuwa meniyelia. So ni wafika natika kurest. Nimesha mtumie yi 150, but he kept calling. Na muambia sina do ingine asisteza kutumie ingine. What I have sent you is what I have and that's it. Please. He, ananikola na nikola, nikam block. Saju ni ikuwa nisha mtumie pesa kona namba yangu. Aka kuja kwa WhatsApp. Anaendelea kuni call. So ni kaona ni kama now, this is spamming me with calls. So ni kafili ni kama, ay, maybe atasiba ha. Maybe he has been hacked. 
because the way he's behaving kama ni wewe uniambie like ukuje uniambie like niko pedo nikwambie niko ratuzo nikupatie na expect to accept na uende kwingine utafute how to know kinis na u appreciate so he was not even saying thank you he was not even appreciating so he kaza kuni click inaweza kuwa tasibaha inaweza kuwa mehagiwa account because mimi atasijui sauti yake hata kama alikuwa na nikola na ni voice note because he sent me millions of voice recordings akinibembeleza ni mtumi hiyo do but unaona miss mjui in person so inaweza kuwa like ni mtu tu bado ametuma voice yeah. record so ni kani fanya ni feel ni kama ako hacked ndio hiyo time ni reach out Georgina the first question i asked her was by any chance do you know kama account ya baha imehakiwa cuz there's someone spamming me with calls akitaka do kutoka kwangu na nimeanza nimeshatuma but now i feel like maybe ha, ni mtu anani spam ama i mean ni mtu anani scam yeah. kaniambia no he has not been hacked na sasa ndio kanielezea what was happening ah so kutoka venye alinieleza hivyo nikasikia nimejam nikasema yani huyu mtu amenisubiri na hizi calls zote na kumbe actually hata Kenya alikuwa ananiambia see what he was asking money for so nikasikia tu nimejam na ndio maana nikareact eh hey, but i got attacked eh hey, una making hizo pesa zote unashindwa kutuambia nini na 150 na kuuma ni wangu unataka kuwekana ati nataka kuwekana mm, ulikuwa unataka kuwekana ime backfire sasa hey, unakuja hapa for say. sympathy yeah. i didn't even know that mean Yo kuna me I saw that one for oh for her to even tell this money she knew something was going to come out of this story Oh my god I didn't yes. even know that So wale hawa walikuwa wanapangiana vitu hawa mautaamua alafu wanafanganya hapa People don't know my type how now Yeah so that was the story Eh hey, people don't know my type sasa huyu naweza Okay what's your type Eh hey, baby I have a type Mhm Mhm Eh that's not my type at all hata kama nikuweka mtu mm. lazima akwe Unaikanga type gani Kuna ile <laughs> Unataka kujua kama unataka. Sijaiekana but if I was to I know I have a type yenyewe naweza sema ah I can't suck it in na nikubai hata gari na nyumba. Wewe that you have to be. Plus me actually I I I have a thing for more mature and older people than these youngings. How me can deal with the mature. Mimi nataka nikae na mtu mwenye tunaweza have a deep conversation, meaningful conversation. Anaweza nielewa on another level yenye CEO ya kito ito. Cuz I believe it's still like nyonyi. Si sasa ndo anaka mnyonyi. Eh si wao mtu mwenye tu ni eh no. Mimi kwanza young boys can not be even something out. Eh but we pia umekapitia. Anywho, thanks so much for coming to the show. Your conversation is very interesting. Tumekuwa hapa for how long? Hey, karibu 2 hours. Uh, yes. <gasps> it's about been 2 hours. It's about oh. one and a half. Hey, tume, We yeah. need to go. It's 2 a.m. Tauliza naingia kwa nyumba nikitoka wapi? Eh, tambiwa. Nsanga wapi? Karibu mpaka nasikia kuchukua video call nionesha na evidence. Mm. Well, video I'm... video call lajiu kwa hapa. <laughs> yeah, tutaki ufike kwe oh, you know, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But thank you for coming through. Mm. Uh, you are such a sweet soul. You are jovial which is a good thing. I like good vibes and inshallah. I don't like watu rigid yeah kuna watu tu kwa nuna tuasira tu necessary mtu amefura tu me i like good vibes nataka tucheke tukule tufanye nini so keep doing that keep uh, educating our sisters and our brothers pale online about the nursing careers how they can do because i'm sure there are some people who have followed your steps and some people are looking up to you they're like i want to be like her mm-hmm. because where you started from you've said you are often that part i didn't know mm. you are no fan umuza my diapers i didn't know that part yeah. as well somehow you struggled in between back and Lots. till you're there umetupwa inje mm-hmm. you you know nobody's perfect but somehow you still get up and smile and tell people wait, wait. i've seen sometimes when you post those things for i've gotten this car job nini nini wait, wait, i'm going sometimes i think when you're driving there sometimes you used to do videos when you're driving yeah. i've seen those ones as well and it goes on to motivate other people that's what this show is about motivation inspiration and sometimes to intrigue so if you intrigue their thoughts mm. some people have been motivated some people have been inspired keep doing it i keep people up well. those people who like seeing una just as ine obena when i do that I actually intentionally do it to motivate and inspire but unaona sasa kama I don't know whether I have mentioned it already in this interview yeah when I was already here niki earn 35k yeah. I used to post about it yeah. and even talk about it and now I still do that transparency because I dear the nurses Nan who are one here million, watu hapo. Nan one million. The, 
sasa nikiweka hiyo sasa unapata like now people unaringa some people are attacking me oh now I'm sure you know ringa my brand mm, showing off now i'm not really anymore when i was earning little now that's when i was really an authentic there's something about kenyans kutaka ku glorify no, people thrive in misery yeah success is shunned if it's not shared Tengeneze 1 million lakini 990 tumia watu watasema yeah. wewe ni wetu. <laughs> lakini tengeneza 1 million alafu 900 ni yako 100 unasaidia watu kadhaa wanasema ah wewe uacha kujisikia. Yeah. What happens? When you're suffering people are happy yeah. because ah wewe umesafa I pia mimi nimesafa man eh tumesafa. <laughs> lakini wewe umekuwa successful. Wewe umekuwa successful aje. Yeah so wewe unaingia. That's what happens. So you keep doing I've told you keep doing it. Even this show I do it here I do it inspiration but there's someone's watching say which show is this? Mm. Which nonsense? Yeah. I'm like you don't understand the setup. You don't have the vision yeah. that I have. Mm. But I don't blame you but also your ignorance is not my responsibility. And I know I used to struggle with thing of trying to make people understand but ngona stayzana. I don't. will die trying to make people understand yep. what you're trying to do or to try to understand who you don't. really are. And especially people who come from the blogs ati yeah. wanakuja wakiona like mimi si juu ni mtu anakaaje but no, if you get bait. to learn me for like what i do really negative news sells so the blogs if they come to them and say you can't believe what obina did mm. obina and as judy spoke about nothing in the us and whatever nobody going to read that shit mm. but if they come and say oh my god obina and as judy flatting yo it's click well nini watu wana watch it wanasema wapi which part which part hata watakata hiyo part wa post waseme hey oh my god akia watu nini huyu ni bibi ya mtu oh bina sio alikuwa na nani sio nini that's what happens yeah when a man bites a dog it's news but when a dog bites a man it's so don't care about what they say they put it out of context and everything the people are interested to know you or the people who have a clean aura they will not say no ule no but the negative ones I'm telling you even today do you know Jesus was walking around this earth mm. healing people mm. feeding the hungry and afufu amekufa hata kwanga na dem so to say alirusha mtu dem but they killed the brother he didn't do anything negative na aliliwa na priests chief priests na watu wa kanisa it's in the bible yeah and that was Jesus yes he didn't do anything sasa wewe Ume unyanganyana bwana like ume Like you see mm, guy yobina Na sema tu Now you see like when you mention evil <laughs> the whole interview was positive and was positive. they will take like Your a part, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tuka, like a dot yeah. to just evil to That's like what patro. happens yeah, yeah. That's the part they will take and now why marinate and make why it Why change you sell their story Oh my god Katwa yoke TikTok And a whole one hour that minute we've been talking about things that can help Kenyans when yes. they move to the US when yep. how they can hack that as is a nurse to make that money. is interesting That one is not. I think now I've come to terms with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitambo nilikuwa nina struggle and I want to explain to people no, you understanding it wrong. So I'm at this point where ukitaka tu kuielewa vile unataka sasa ni hivi. I think everybody gets there before you get used to it. Yeah. Even Mikitambo alikuwa nikiona negative comment I can DM the guy and be bro, maze kwani nimedu. Ati nilifanya tu no it's comedy. Mm. I was just joking. Eh. Come on, mimi sina noma na nani. Eh. Nowadays. Hai. Eh. Ujipate Oh, nini, oh no, ah, nani amesema by the way in the comments have it, you have to go through it for you to harden you have to learn that's yeah. how we learn you yeah. grow into something so to read comments i rarely do mm. at remember through comments we amesema nini i rarely do yeah. sometimes my, my psc something he'll send me like eh hey, we amesema oh okay oh wewe unataka mm. kusaidia zi gani hebu mm. mpigie find out okay yeah. msaidie chini ya maji ni we move yeah. ama oh we amesema oh I mean, mini or mini guide. Ah, so we we like I'm used to Yeah. I'm so used to negative news. Mm-hmm. When I get positive news, I get shocked. I always tell the people around me, me I get even compliments. I'm like, why are you complimenting me? No, una unaanza kuishi. Eh, hey, niko zile, why are you why are you being nice to me? Like mimi ninge mali, mm-hmm. nikuwe tiri vizuri. Mm-hmm. Nasema hawa nataka kuniua hawa. Ah, wananipangia. I'm not used to that. Me I'm used to kutukanwa, kukuwa rejected, kukuwa whatever. And the thing even affects my relationships. Mm-hmm. When I'm in a relationship and you are good to me, eh. I'm like, "Ay, unaanza kusikia it's too good to be true." There must kuna be kitu. something. Yes, <laughs> I'm always like that thing has really messed a lot of my relationship. I'm always like there is something. Mm. So ile sana za kuchunguza, cuz ile webu. Webu cheki amenda, amesema ko tao, ko please fly webu cheki. Nini nini nini. So it brings that insecurity for why she's so nice. Mbona hana password kwa simu yake? Because now before, you know also people project the past mm. so before i had someone mm. and alikuwa na simu haikuwa na password mm. so later 
Her friend told me she used to have two phones. <gasps> So kulikuwa na simu ya kam kunicheki yeah. na hiyo time kulikuwa na ile I think it was Nokia X2 ilikuwa ile simu ya kwati keyboard zile za kwanza so alikuwa mpaka niachia na cheza na hizo na keyboard ni nini na feel good yes so this was the lady who gave my first heartbreak i've spoken about her in so many other interviews so me i was so in love i was like there's nothing she can do wrong but i didn't know there was another phone that alikuwa anacha msa alikuwa akienda kwao hata naweza na chana phone yake 2 3 days hakuna msa ana call kumbe kuna nyinyi ku control someone did so now when i meet someone i'm like why am i not mbona mbona uka tv another one inakuwa ngani kuna two apps watu wana install ya ku chat na huo mtu alafu ukifika kwa nyumba by the time uko kwa compound shade lit me disappear kuna hata ma app zina kama calculator wewe unaona ni calculator na eh kuna calculator iko hapa na ni huyu mzana anashtuka kuzuru wewe bro wewe baki hapo tu penye huko hapo kwa green zone baki hapo ameshtuka calculator kwa unaona hii simu iko na calculator lakini hapo ndio sasa ndio mambo yote sasa wajinga ni wenye juli zangi kwa nini kuna calculator mbili kwa simu no si una delete ile nyingine hawezi delete ya permanent ya simu unajua kwani unatumia simu gani eh hiyo time ni kwa tumia android <laughs> it's fine <laughs> we move <laughs> yeah so there's a lot of things that people don't know and then when they experience them now your other relationships are based on your past yeah. and other people are like me i'm not like your exes and i'm like yes you are you are a woman i was not dating men uh -huh. so you are a woman i've been here with a woman before i've seen mm -hmm. it's like i always tell people let's talk kidogo to before we wrap up poleni mm -hmm. about gender based violence mm -hmm. i speak about it a lot because it happens and most people don't see it coming yeah and i've been there other people have been there but they didn't see it mpaka ikawapata mpaka una black eye nini uko hospitali no no but he still loves me oh she still does no mm. like the minute someone shouts at you mm. start kokuwa rada because in answer ah, nini, 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 nini. then then mjinga nini then pumbavu the first time atakushtua wewe ni nini wewe second time ataileta mpaka hapa that time part so people never see but if you've been in it you start seeing the signs mm. so me nowadays when i'm with someone like this you raise your voice hey i'm out like because why are you raising your voice we're grown ups yeah. like just talk but the, me i don't even shout on my kids and they know we don't shout in yeah. my house my mm. kids know me and them at upare me ko nani anafanya come sometimes i shout especially with my boy most women do that oh, most women shout a lot that one I've, i've seen even single mothers mm -hmm. even my mom mm -hmm. wana shouting and then they don't execute the threat yeah. so children wa mezo mama ana shouting that's why una patangu ta shout mm -hmm. but ambia mtoto ndambia baba yenu watoto wana yeah. because dad really shouts lakini dad an execute yeah. nasa ma umefanya haya kuja lie down mm -hmm. chukua belt why did you do this yeah mtoto ana feel mm -hmm. but umeshina wewe ndani amefanya <laughs> you're just shouting you're shouting it's like if you live in islands eh. crusades are everywhere and ba mpaka it's normal eh. ukitoka nje usikia yesu ni bwana yesu ni bwana huku unasikia mangoma huku nini nini you're used to that noise mpaka if you come to live in suburbia like mbona huku kumenyamaza yeah i know is something is off. <laughs> exactly so yeah. the same thing in a relationship you're used to being abused kuna watu wamezoea mpaka asipopigwa ama gombanisho na chali yake anafikiri apendwi kuna watu wanakuwa addicted na hiyo ati man yes. being insecure and violent there are women who like it like mm. that and also there are men who like kuvurugwa na eh hey, hey, mama eh hey, mama jana mezua mazi ee hey, hey, unajua mama alichapa simu yangu wall eh. and he thinks it's normal eh. and life goes on and he'll buy another one it'll go ngwa tena eh. at hey, mama eh hey, mama jana mejam we 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 jana mama me come eh. <laughs> but amezoea eh. but there are also some of us mm -hmm. who are like why are you shouting i've been here before the moment to i don't think i can do this yeah. yes because with now most people never see it mm. why do you think i'm like the others why do you think i'm like the rest but different stroke for different folk same thing to the fans you used to you see the signs like who you ukijibu tu hivi like uh, you've never noticed afana kikutukana na umjibu wendo mbaya true by the way even blogs will take how do you talk to such a person like this <laughs> why would you be not talk to this person like this why even giving them air time why msi ame kama mimi tukana mimi tukana nikamwambia no wonder wewe ni mfupi hivyo tu oh you know you had short people no i'm like <laughs> yeah, no nilikuwa naongea na huyu hapo yeah. nikamwambia ameongea hapa ameongea mbani nikamwambia eh kipara nyaisha ni kipara mtu ameana pesa no <laughs> oh now you're talking bad people i'm like like if you respond <laughs> You are the bad one. The bad you keep quiet, they keep going. When you develop a thick skin. You just know how to maneuver. You know this bullshit a lot engage with. And like me I've seen most blogs, mm. my negative news. Mm. Wana posting sana. Mm. 
I do something amazing. Never. See, Why did they not post this? Hakuna. But kitu tu negative. Ama they think it's negative. Oh, 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 it's like there's someone in Tuko when you're going to crush me. Tuko, I get very positive Mimi news about you. And it's actually the only blog in your post positive about me. Hey, Mimi, Akuna, Mimi, oh, yeah. from Tuko Mpasho, <laughs> that will be gossip, you wapi SPM, <laughs> me, all of them, in Angwanga too. I'm like, guys, I did something amazing. Like, now I'm doing the orphanage charity. I'm like, I'm going to an orphanage. I'm going to feed these kids. We're going to cook with them. We play, we do whatever. Talk about it. Mm-hmm. Hey, nobody. But what you're in the orphanage, ni kanyage mtoto moja ki makosa. Obi not trying to kill children in an orphanage. How was on a lane? You're going to make a good idea. Happens. But it's lies. Happens. Sante. Thank you. Who come through. What you're in the orphanage, you're in the orphanage. Okay. It's 2 a.m. I'm a married wife. Yeah, I know. I know. God bless you. Good night. Amen. Yes. Thank you for watching. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Hey, you have a fan base. Yeah, I, no, I know. I know. Hey, why are you a fan base? I know. Thank you so much to those who send me so much love and positivity. Honestly, it keeps me going. And for always letting me that I know, I, that I inspire you with my journey, I motivate you. I always do this, by the way. Every time, like, whatever I do, the, cre- the content I create, I always do this, like, whatever I do, the content I create, in a negative perspective. What I do, near entirely, to, like, especially my nursing content i'm trying to help the nurses when i give about my life experiences niko sababu nataka like mtu mwenye probably who could be going through something right now a jewel is always like at the end of the tunnel i've always given my journey everything my lows my highs my embarrassing moments so mlan ku focus na zote si eti mnangoje tu ile time yenye tu kamoja tu kamekuja hivi kamechoma that's what you focus on and those people who come from the blogs msukuje already mkiwa na negative energy come and understand mtu kwanza before mwanza kumwatak na kumtukana na kufanya nini it would be a very it would be a very what it would be a better place in this world if we all like keep positive vibes anyway to both my haters my fans my lovers my whatever i love you all thank you so much for having me obina there you go karibu and you're amazing asante yeah thank you for Aya <laughs> wewe <laughs> Thank you for watching the show. Ndusiku. <laughs> Good night. God bless you. Hello parents. I know schools are opening very soon and you are walking in and out of bookshops looking for books for your children. But do you know that there are parents who have the books that you need and you have books that other parents need. Now that is where we come in. It is called Kitabu Swap. Check out Kitabu Swap, the only one-stop bookshop where you swap books.